Hello and welcome everyone to another fantastic Wednesday here on the Exploding Dice channel. My name is Askren and I am your host and dungeon master and I totally did not forget that this show is at 8 o'clock. I absolutely did not do that. That never happened. You have no proof that it did. Uh, and so we are now here. Um, through no fault of my own. We're here a little bit late, uh, but thank you guys for joining us. Oh, oh god. Oh god, I'm being revealed. Um, if you guys have not already, please hit that retweet link. Thank you guys for joining us in chat. And we are going to start off our show as we tend to do by saying hello to our cast. How is it going, guys? How are you doing? Let me, uh, let me turn down this music so they can hear you. How are you guys doing? Good. Hello. Great. Yep, really yep. happy that you woke up. I yeah. was not asleep. Uh huh. That is not yeah, true. Right. I was yeah. I was doing laundry, uh -huh. uh, which is a thing. Is, 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 is that what the kids call it these days? Doing laundry. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> the kids do call it that. Hey, you wanna you wanna go out back and do some laundry? Oh shit. <laughs> yep. And then after we're folding the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, um, yeah, we, uh, we have, hopefully, we have a great show for you guys tonight, hopefully, me, uh, because, I don't know, some people might die, and that will make it even better, I think, um, but- What did you guys get us into? Well, that, we will, we will figure out in just one second, but before we do, uh, as always, we just ha have a couple of announcements for you guys, um, Real, real quick. If you have not already seen it, uh, I forget which command it is on. Is it on two? Yes, it is on number two. We have just, because it is the beginning of May, we have just started our brand new monthly giveaway. This one for the month of May. We are giving away an entire set of Dwarven Forge dungeon tiles. Wow. Um, it is, it is really, really cool. I have them in the seriously? on the chair next to me. Yeah, seriously. And um, because you guys, uh, yeah, those those are you got the painted Whoa. ones too. How did how did Zach yeah. reach into your box and grab that? <laughs> Poor is Zach there? <laughs> yeah, the, that is Zach the actual. Made that it is in New York. That, yeah, that is I why Aspirin was too late. Yeah, yeah. two of them actually didn't. He was he was reaching into they my did, box. They did laundry. We were doing laundry together. <laughs> laundry is that what the kids call it these days? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, no, Zach clearly sprung for the painted ones. I did not because I am a do-it-yourself kind of person. Um, but, yeah, if you guys hit that giveaway link... Are you calling you... Zach lazy? <laughs> I mean... Uh, I don't care. <laughs> Have you seen Fig Boot? <laughs> <laughs> um, but also because, uh, I announced that, um, there was a, uh, that we were going to be adding stuff to that giveaway every hundred retweets. We broke that first one in less than 24 hours, which means Reaper Mini is, uh, helping us out to throw in a whole bunch of their awesome little bones figures. So that's, you're going to have like a hundred dollars worth of Reaper Mini, uh, miniature figures to play. D and D with your brand new Dwarven Forge tiles. Uh, for the next hundred retweets, I'm gonna throw in a second set of Dwarven Forge because I am that nice. Um, what's going on, Judo Killer? Is there a link to sign up for that? Yeah, it's uh, it's like right on the right on the Dwarven Forge thing. Unless you're talking about reaching into my box, and that is <laughs> there there is a waiting list for that. Get in line. <laughs> Um, so that is, that is the first announcement. Second announcement is, if you guys missed it last night, I hung out with Mr. Scott Davis, Dale Rick, from, uh, uh, from Lost Initiative Show on the Fuzzy Dice, uh, channel. We have a, quite a few really, really cool shows coming up for you in the month of May. Uh, I just finished booking with, uh, the awesome Margaret Crone. She's gonna be on, not next Tuesday, but next Friday. We're adding an extra show to the week, uh, so I am gonna be hanging out with her. And then later in the month, I've got Jason Charles Miller, uh, from Geek and Sundry, uh, and uh. also Amy Vorpal. Both of my friends are gonna be coming back. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, so look forward to that. That's going to be awesome. It is. They're both really, really great people, uh, and I can't wait. Um, yeah, I'm super jealous. Amy Vorpal is awesome. I love she, her. On. She is. I've had her on before, and I, just, I love hanging out with her. She's she's so funny. Um, I always love it when she's on um, Never Tell Me the Odds <laughs> on uh, the Saving Throw show. Yeah. I love I love her on that. <laughs> Yeah, she. Uh, I. I. Barky's Brigade was also uh, was kind of how I how I got introduced to her, and she's a ton of fun on that. Uh, but we're not gonna sit here praising Amy all night because 
that's that's not what we're here for. Uh, we have we are going to bring you guys into Iron Gods, the fires of creation. Uh, before we get into our recap, I just want to remind you guys that all of the awesome game sounds and music that you guys hear are courtesy of our fantastic friends over at Sirenscape. Uh, so, good. yeah, go check them out if you have not. Uh, so, do you? Does one of you guys want to take us on a journey to Recap Land? Anyone? I, I could do it if no. Yeah, go for I it. I got this. I nominate. I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll be a support. <laughs> got Tiger. You can go. Like, ah, I can see. So. <laughs> yeah. No. Exactly. Um, so we we started off last episode where we were in this in this room with this really sort of this panorama. Um, window where we looked out into what seemed to be a vast, um, almost dead land. I can't read that, so if that's a joke, I can't laugh at it. Um, it's my notes, just so everyone can see. <laughs> if, you needed, if you needed help, but I think it's probably too small. Um, yeah, so we first thought it was an, a vast open landscape, um, basically, yeah, like like the desert um, that, that surrounds uh, Torch. Um, and then we went inside, and then, um, thanks to Fickboot, we found out that we were not out in the open, but indeed in a, in an artificially crafted dome, because he found out, and then, or dun, he said, yeah, he found out, uh, um, that there was a, a metal ceiling that only looked like an overcast sky, and then Quinn shot an arrow, uh, high up into the air, and heard a bing sound, and it was metal indeed. So we started to wander through this cave, artificial cave, wondering what the hell was going on. We were attacked by a four-armed skeleton and we had to bash it several times uh, to make it dead. And I then we... I missed that. We were yeah. too. And we, we, con <laughs> we continued walking through the sand, avoiding uh, a pile of bones. And then we found... Um, was it like it was an illusion of a door? We, we we thought or a wall. We thought we were standing in front of a wall, yeah, there but it ended like a up hologram. just yeah, it was a hologram or an illusion, whatever. And behind that was another um, of those metal doors. And then Quinn got in, and then he and Figwood got in, and then they got uh, electrocuted. Yep. Oh yeah, that's right. We did. <laughs> nice. I forgot. Of, I, I forgot that I almost died from being electrocuted. Tiger, Tiger, as girls, we were fine. Our characters were fine. We were. Just was, watching them getting grilled, and then um, we was, went in to see whether we, if they were okay. Was it a shocking experience? I think yes. so. I think so. It's so good to have you back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tiger. As I mentioned, Askren tried his best to recreate a tiger mm -hmm. pun. It was okay. What was the pun? I don't uh, remember. To, to remember? go to go doorwards. Oh yeah. I said because we had a lot of doors. <laughs> Huh? We had a lot. Okay, it totally worked. <laughs> we had a lot of doors to choose from, and I, I said something. How about some stupid Mordor joke? And then it came up. We have to go. Door Only, the Only the best. Only the best. Yeah, yes. we ended up. We ended up in a in a in some kind of um, like a command uh, area. We found a room that looked out upon this. What we then found out was indeed a habitat. We still have no idea where somebody would build a habitat. Uh, like I, or there's Robin, threw out the option that whoever came or used to live in this um, underground dwelling wanted to maybe perhaps uh, get used or um, a, a, not accommodate, a, a acclimate to, to our, to the outside world. I don't know. We don't know. What else did we find? We found, found a funny room with a holographic glass table and... Uh, an alien lava lamp. Um, <laughs> there was this. Yeah. It's right. This is like a purple. Was it made of glass? Were there like any a pillars? The, there the, were chairs. The How pillar. Many? The pillar was sort of like a, a glass-like obsidian. Uh, there were five chairs in the last chamber. Were they short chairs? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No Sorry, one else asked. Uh, I, I, I yeah, hear yeah. you the only one who's obsessed, obsessed with uh, fucking with halflings, man. We, might, we <laughs> might have actually gone an episode without talking about halflings. Only because of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's three of them stacked up in that trench coat. I'm telling you. Well, yeah. they, they might they might have a knife to my throat right now. Yeah, yeah. So they <laughs> well, were. After um, we found that. After we found that 
biome control room, basically. We mm -hmm. went into another room, and it had, like, a view of the biome or the desert or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then we ended the episode with one of those weird four-armed alien dudes, like... Who did he? Who did he come up behind? He okay. So as yeah. you guys, after you guys activated the habitat control room, uh, you proceeded along the corridor and you emerged mm -hmm. into a large chamber with a window looking out over this desert-like um, biodome, essentially, uh, with sort of like a, a giant ta oh, conference geez. table and some I chairs. Uh, there were many, many scrawlings covering the wall in uh, a strange language you do not understand as well as symbols that you might not have ever seen before of what looked like a skull uh, and a pickaxe made out of bones. Um, oh, yeah, it was very Mad Max. Yeah. and Is that what was drawn on the map? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and as you guys were sort of standing in this room and trying to kind of get a beat on what exactly was going on here, um, uh, Quinn was looking out the window when something snuck up behind him and put a blade to his neck. And that was where we ended things. So that is where we are, of course, going to pick things up. Uh, but uh, before... It's just Quinn. It's a sacrifice for Willa to make. Yeah, it is all good. <laughs> Thank you, free points, for following and welcome to the madness. I would love to give... I would love to give a, fo a, a shout out to all of the follows that we've gotten, but because of the contest, we've gotten so many in the past couple of hours that I absolutely cannot. But thank you to all you guys. If you guys have not already, please hit that retweet link right there. Tell all your friends that we are live playing the Iron Gods and, uh, and come hang out with us. Um, and so as we do this, let me scoot you guys over to the map right over here. Um... I'm gonna need to zoom in on this just a bit. Here we go. So this is this is the map right here. Uh, Karak, you are in here the room. Go. You are in the room with uh, with all these people. Figboot, you are still outside, and I think we are going to start things off by rolling some initiative. So oh, let's. Oh man. Let's get that weird, done. Weird. Uh, right in. Right in. I mean, it's just the maybe way I like he just it. wants to play. I don't want to yeah. kill him. I want to yeah, play with either. everything. Cool. I thought we were gonna reason this out, but we. Well, well you, you might be can. able. You might be able to on your turn. Where's my initiative? Well, okay. There it is. I got a seventeen. I, we love him. One second. Uh, if you guys are in chat, by the way, please let me know how, uh, how the the volume levels on the music are. Uh, speaking of which, can you cut that for us? Yeah. Oh yeah, I, for I always forget which uh, which group which group this is. Petra hates the music. There you go. No it more. just distracts me. I'm already <laughs> tired, and then I can't English. Nice initiative, Tiger. Uh, awesome. Oh man, come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Get wrecked. It's a little bit better. I was gonna say he had minus one last time. Who did? Food. Didn't he? Did I, had had a zero. I had a zero last time. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So as we go ahead and sort this up, uh, this is not the the music that I want to use. I want to use something cooler. Um, yeah. Hold on. One second. Ju -ju -ju. Uh, Karak, I, as I'm looking for better music, you are up first. Uh, you have just seen, I'm gonna give you a view of this creature that you're looking at, uh, that currently has, uh, Quinn with a blade to the back of his neck. Is the cape covering the front half, or just the back? Uh, the, the red cape? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's pretty much down, down his back. Okay. It's a character choice. I have to rule out halflings. <laughs> All right. And it came up quietly. Yeah, it, it snuck right up on him. All right. I think what I'm gonna do. I'm assuming if you if you played Karak, uh, my weapons are always out. So, I'm going to try to intimidate. To get. To get it to uh, to drop Quinn. Okay, um, so let me let me just turn all this off. Hold on. 
Uh, go ahead and roll me an intimidation check and tell me exactly what you want to do for that. All right, I'm going to say it before I roll it. Um, just something along the lines of, you better let him go or it's going to get way messier than it could be. Sort of deal. Okay. Um, A new subscriber oh, arrives. shit, that is really loud. It fills you with determination. I'll do what I can. All right, so first of all, you go ahead and roll that intimidation, and I am going to thank Judo Killer for subscribing Ludo. via the game with. Thank you so much, Judo Ooh. Killer. I Judo. desperately, I des, you know what? I have a drink right here. Let's uh, let's raise those drinks in chat for Judo Killer, man. Ed, cheers to you. Everyone, put yeah. those drinks in the air. Thank you so much, my friend. I need to get a drink. <laughs> Yeah, I need to get a new one. I'm almost out. Um, yo, yo. Thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, so 19 on that intimidation. Are you actually using, like, words, or are you just bellowing at this thing? Half and half. It, it turns into that statement that I tried to make, and then it just turns into a roar. All right. Uh, so you are going to see, um, you are going to see this creature sort of as it, uh, now it clearly knew that you guys were here already, um, it, it, as it snuck up on Quinn, and it's almost, you, you definitely heard it sort of, um, hiss something at him when it, uh, when it grabbed him, um, but as you just, as you sort of grip your axe and just let out a loud bellow through this ch that echoes through this chamber, um, you are gonna see the creature noticeably flinch, uh, for a second, as it's gonna kind of, um, not fully, but it's gonna kind of skirt around him a bit, um, uh, Karak, you can actually, the, this brown thing right here is a pillar, so you can just barely see this creature around the pillar, but you see it kind of skirt around to kind of get a get a look at you uh, around the pillar while it still has the knife to his neck, um, and it it looks very hesitant. Damn straight it does. <laughs> so you want to do anything else? I am going to sheath my weapon and step forward. With a hand extended. Okay. Towards, like, trying to, to, to get Quinn or the knife or whatever, but not in a, in a not super threatening manner, but in a way that I've already made the dude flinch. All right. And I'm not going to totally back down. All right. Uh, 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 sorry, I'm just playing something with them there. Okay, um, so as you are as you are kind of jockeying for position, Quinn, you can feel the metal of this blade like right against the the cloth scarf in front of your neck uh, as you feel it kind of press, but it hasn't it hasn't started cutting yet. What would you like to do? Taking advantage of the distraction from Karak. Okay, I'm gonna just hard elbow this thing in the ribs. And then I'm going to reach down, grab my short sword out of the sheath. And without even reversing the blade, like I just draw it out of the sheath and then stab it right backwards into this fucker. Okay. Um, make me, roll me an attack with disadvantage. Okay. Let's see how that goes for you. I got an eight to hit. Yeah, you um, you kind of try and elbow this thing, and you actually feel like you feel something stop your arm, like literally grab your wrist, and you kind of edge, you just you know like skirt your eyes down a little bit, and you you realize this thing has more arms than just the ones the that are holding arms. the knife to your blade, and it's oh, like it's I'm literally fucked. grabbed your wrist with its other arm, and it's like holding it against your side. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Did they did they read your rights? Because he's got the right to bear arms. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he Figboot has that right because he's a druid. I, I have I have the right to bear arms. He has the right to bear arms. Um. <laughs> all right. So anything Stink else? Difference. Anything else from you, Quinn? Uh, no. no all right. Not. Cool. Uh, all right, so now we are on to this thing right here. Um, okay, 
it is going to you hear uh you hear kind of another sort of soft uh metal like metallic sliding sound um at, that sounds like another blade being drawn and uh as it at Quinn it's gonna sort of start stepping and you feel like the blade push against your neck as it physically like steps backwards uh so it it's gonna like step backwards are you gonna yeah, are you gonna uh, move you're gonna move yeah. with it yep okay so it's we'll say it's only gonna take about two steps back with Quinn and you see one blade is like right here against his neck and the other one it's holding out with one of its lower arms like pointed at all of you um and you guys hear a strange a strange hissing sound almost as if almost as if the thing is trying to speak but you don't understand its language you you can't make out what it's saying but whatever it is it does not sound particularly friendly um, anybody pick up parcel tongue <laughs> no <laughs> that was one of the two that i didn't take <laughs> Um, um, so basically, all of his, uh, like his, his um, expressions and, and, and body language says it's not happy. <laughs> it says I'm taking a hostage. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is not looking, uh, not looking particularly great. Um, it is going to. Uh, it. You see it stop as it's kind of. And then it's just going to kind of stand there with its blade out, almost as if it's waiting for you to do something. Uh, you see it has the, it definitely has an advantage over Quinn, but it seems to be hesitating. Um, Robin, what would you like to do? Uh, in the moment where all that kerfuffle starts, um... She drops Robin. She was because she was focusing on the writing on the wall. She was actually copying mm -hmm. the the strange uh, letters into her notebook, and she drops her notebook, and her hand reaches down to her uh, to her to the hilt of her rapier, but she doesn't draw it. And then she does the same thing as as Karak did, and sort of actually raising both of her hands, sort of like easy easy and and then she would um I, I think she considers using magic and you might see the slightest hint of magic magical energy sparking uh across over her fingers i would um would you allow me to use a bonus action to say one sentence to him and then hold my actual action yeah talking is a free action okay um then i would hold my action, namely casting sleep in that thing, if it actually tries to hurt uh, Quinn. Okay, so you wanna you wanna ready an action to cast a spell? Yeah. Uh, cool. And then, uh, the one thing so she's standing like there, and then the one, the one thing she would say is Do you understand us? Probably not, but I can try. Uh, by the way, I just this is uh, this is for the Twitch thing. I just realized that the donation panel was still uh, set to the extra life thing, so that has been fixed. Um, the, oh fuck, the link has not. Um, so you want what you want to say? You want to ask if it if it understands you? Yeah. All right, all right. Um, I'm trying to think. You see it kind of furrows an eyebrow, but you don't get the sense that it's understand you like. It understands that you're trying to communicate, but it does not seem to understand. Um, does it seem to be in any way more relaxed since I'm sort of raising my hands, you know, not not reaching for any weapon? Not roll me an insight. Any... Roll me an insight check. Okay. Can I insight check? Yeah, sure. Eighteen. Because I'm so wise. All right, all right, uh, Robin, you are um, you are fairly certain that it is not understanding you. It doesn't seem to like it doesn't seem to be register. It seems to almost consider what you're saying hostile. 
Yeah, I was actually more going for my gesture of raising my hands. Does that do anything with it? Yeah, it doesn't seem to calm it down. It definitely doesn't okay. understand what you're saying. Okay, um, okay. This thing, the, you're, you're... It's hard to read alien features, um, you, you know, to know exactly what it's thinking, but it doesn't seem to be uh, really getting what you're right. putting down. Yeah, that would be, like I said, I'm holding my spell until it tries to actually hurt Quinn. <laughs> Alright. Uh, also, thank you, Judo Killer, for the three bits. As always, beers for cheers. Beers for cheers, guys. Um, <laughs> or tea. P pipes for cheers. Is that, <laughs> is that what we're going to do? Okay. I don't have a pipe. Pipes for cheers. Um, well, tea is, tea is more appropriate because you can go, cheers, love. Is that, <laughs> is that British? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm bad at this. Um, okay. European, but not British. It's close enough. <laughs> uh, oh, fig boot, what do you want to do? Fig boot. All right. Fig boot. So, so you still like sass that every... <laughs> It's like every time it goes down into battle. Fig boot. <laughs> fig boot, so... use true and attack. Fig boot. <laughs> <laughs> so before, before I enter the room, I'm going to put my hand on my quarterstaff and cast Shadowlock. Or Shillelagh, as most people call it. <laughs> Shadowlock? <laughs> Shadowlock. Alright. Alright. And then, um. That's a bonus action. Yep. Is it possible to use a. into the room. Okay. And I just kind of uh, place my hand on my uh, quarter staff, which is kind of at my side, and the other hand is just getting ready, and I'm holding my action. If uh, this alien entity makes some sort of aggressive move, I would like to hold a uh, charm person. Okay. Do you wanna uh, do you wanna like get around this pillar here? Um, oh yeah. So you can you have like a direct line of sight to it. Yeah. Could I? Could I possibly scooch by Robin? Yeah. Like you can. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So I do that, and then I'm holding my action for charm person. All if, right. If it makes an aggressive move. All right, cool, cool. Uh, back to the top of the round, Karak. You are, like, tensions are building in the room as you kind of let out the the initial sort of roar, but everyone is just sort of in this standoff type of thing. No one's really, no one's really wanting to make the first move here. What would you like to do? Leave it to the barbarian, right? Um... I... So I had taken like a step or two forward last turn, so I'm just gonna move my token to kind of show that. My weapon's on my back. I'm gonna take another step and try to reach out and... And touch me? Yes. I'm gonna caress your face. <laughs> Goodbye, sweet I'm child. I'm oh. out of with him and right in front of the alien. <laughs> <laughs> the alien will be so grossed out that it will drop Quinn. Uh, That's hope, a good hope plan. Don't, why hope is, don't, why hope is don't mind tusks. <laughs> Maybe he's, it's not into that, you know? Different culture, they make he's... out in a different way. Maybe kissing is really gross to it. Quinn's inside. lived in a desert for like decades. I'm sure like he's not too picky. <laughs> no, not for him. I'm talking about the alien. I, I talked about yeah. it. Okay, okay. I don't talk about Quinn using it. This is a Mass Effect. We don't make out in front of aliens. <laughs> Wait, in, in front of them? Or with them. I mean, hold on. For I am them. absolutely not ashamed. Absolutely not ashamed. <laughs> got my Garrus over here, too. <laughs> Original space boyfriend. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to try and reach out and take Quinn from the alien. 
<laughs> Phrasing. Okay. <laughs> Passionately. <laughs> how, how do you want to do that? Passionately. <laughs> oh, it's escalating so fast. <laughs> Guys, I can't do that. Stop. <laughs> I get really flustered. <laughs> we found Tiger's weakness. You ain't kidding, though. <laughs> Just wing it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna reach forward. He's He, he kind of scooted away onto the other side of Quinn, so he's kind of, we're kind of catty corner. Mm hmm. And Quinn's I... in the middle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now you you could you'd have to actually physically step take a step forward if you wanted to be in range of Quinn. You can't like you don't I'm have ten that. you don't have ten foot arms. Um, but he's uh yeah, yeah. Quinn Quinn is Quinn is between him and you. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna take a step forward and I'm gonna attempt to not even touch the alien. I'm gonna just gonna try to touch the the dagger and move it away and then pull pull Quinn because I don't have a weapon. Can you stop laughing? I just like the picture of you, like, just, like, t grabbing this guy. <laughs> very yeah, delicately. Very delicately. Yeah, this, it away. this is massive <laughs> half for He'll just be our just master be negotiator. The back. He'll be like, Guys, and then the, and then the next negotiate. Step, in the next step, they will probably be doing this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except with four arms. All right. Uh, that's going to be messy. All right, so you want to you want to try and move the dagger out of the way. That's the first thing you want to do. Gently. Okay. <laughs> Delicately. As you do, you sort of you kind of actually stare at this. And I'm gonna put him on put him on screen for this. Uh, you sort of stare at this uh, this alien directly in the eyes. Sorry, What's up? Okay, go. Okay. You you kind of you kind of walk up slowly. Uh, your weapon at your side, and you look this creature directly in the eyes and he's staring directly at you you're assuming with kind of an angry expression on his face as you push the blade slowly away you can see the arm that's holding it kind of drops a little bit as it continues to look at you just steely-eyed not making not making any motion not making, not any, making any moves yet not really and then finally the uh, the blade is going to is going to settle at its side as it you see it's you see it's eyes kind of furrow for a second as it's almost almost as if it's considering you and then you uh you you hear under its kind of muffled uh this muffled piece of cl muffling piece of cloth that's around his face you hear orsada to my ear like I and shake my head like I don't understand it kind of hopefully that's not like an offensive gesture <laughs> it, it, pa it pauses for a second and it says Osa. and then Quinn do I get to embrace Quinn hold on one second I can't wait for it can I, can I please embrace Quinn now <laughs> roll for embrace. I'm gonna roll a twenty. Seduce that motherfucker. Nat twenty. Uh, Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to get. It's gonna make an attack against you. Great. Against Quinn. It's yep. Gonna go, it's it's going to you. S throat? It uh, drags. Uh, it drags uh, that blade right across your neck. So so that would then. I yeah, triggered. Yes, <laughs> but <laughs> it had. It, but it is gonna, unfortunately it is. It's making its attack first. You guys are still gonna get your thing, but it's not gonna interrupt him. Um. So Quinn, you are going to take a because it rolled with with uh, advantage against you, yeah. and it scored that nat twenty. So that's the ed twenties. I feel like that's appropriate for what's happening here, which is like just a straight up execution. But I, th uh, I thought like I thought that I thought me and the alien were cool. <laughs> Apparently not. That'll okay. Be in the alien. Uh, guys, sorry about me being way too loud. I it's hard for me to balance audio on my end. Um. Okay. So it is gonna roll. Uh. Let's see. Two. Yeah. Doubles all that. Um. 
it is going to roll, uh, you are, you are going to take, uh, nine damage across, basically, like, opening a wound across your neck, um, as it does, and it's, uh, the other arm is going to reach up and attempt to make a second attack, however, before that happens, you guys get your readied actions. Um, so I can go first? Yep. Already. Yep. It doesn't matter what order. Okay, hold on. So, okay. oh, do I have any actions to ready my weapon for the next turn? Yeah, you, uh, on, I'll, I mean, was your weapon physically put away or was it just, like, down at your side? Oh, it was on my back because I had to have I'll let you, I'll straight. let you, I'll let you grab it, uh, as, as a okay. reaction. That, that seems, that seems right. Uh, so, okay. Robin, what are you doing? Uh, I'm casting sleep. And, oh, damn it, I don't have the player's handbook. Uh, you can just look it up can, on. You can, can look it up on roll twenty. No, no, I, I, I have it here, but I can cast on level two already, right? Uh, I don't know offhand. Um, uh, damn it, where's my? Uh, I, I'm quite sure. I think I have. Um, or maybe not. Shoot. You're under ranger, right? No. Um. Um. Uh, trickster. Arcane trickster. Oh. Yeah, that I don't have on roll 20, um, so I don't know what their spell scaling is like. Technically, uh, we need to be third, or you would need to be third level. We are. Cast. You are. Oh, yeah, we are. So then, yeah, you, then I'm, then you can probably, ca you probably have one third level slot, uh, I think? You have. No, you have... two. Like, definitely not third level, but I think I have I, one, one second level slot, level. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna grab the the handbook in a second. That's that's fine. Yeah, right. I I have it right here, and it actually says you have two first level spell slots and three cantrips, but no second. Level okay, spell never slots. mind. Then I downgraded to level one. Thank you. Okay, cool. Uh, so sleep spell. He has to. Uh... No, it's he can't do anything against it. It's just it goes okay. by He's Six, using up the the points. Sixteen so HP, and it has to beat his total in order to knock him out. Uh, no, not really. It goes by hit points. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It has to beat his... Hold on, so... Oh, sorry. It has to yeah. beat his hit point total to actually knock him out. That's how I understand it. Yep. Uh, in which case... You... Alright, so you, like, instantly, as soon as this happens, you just let out a, a blast, like a pulse of, of glittering, sort of magical, hypnotic energy, and it washes over him. You see him kind of buffeted for a second as he staggers... <sighs> but he does not okay. fall. Fig boot, your turn. Fig boot. <laughs> and then as a bonus action, I actually take out both of my weapons, my blades. <laughs> All right. All right. I am going to cast Charm Person. Which... Somebody cast Save Me. Uh, all right, <laughs> so um, it must make a Wisdom Saving Wisdom Throw. Wisdom Saving a DC Throw. Of 13. Um, and it technically gets advantage. Okay. Or actually, okay, it says uh, if you or your companions are fighting it. Yeah, are, because are we uh, technically because... fighting it. Yes. Or is it fighting us? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I uh, I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll. I mean, combat has essentially started right now. No one's made a mm -hmm. hostile attack. Well, no, she did. She did just make an attack against him. So, uh, because sleep sure. is a spell that it's aware of. So, yeah. Um, okay. All right. So, so it, it is going to do one. I think it's that. Yeah, I think it's this. Um, two. Okay, one. Uh, it's an 18. Dang it. Sorry, Quinn. was nice with you. All right. <laughs> so, unfortunately, you also kind of slam your... Uh, your staff into the ground and let out a sort of a pulse of hypnotic uh, pollen or something into the air as you attempt to uh, to sway this creature over to your side, but you do not seem to make it, uh, or it does not seem swayed. Perhaps its alien physiology is not affected by your magic. Uh, maybe it's leather. Maybe. Quinn, you have been attacked. You are be about to. Oh, it, and then it is going to make its its second attack against Quinn. This one is not with advantage. Twenty-two. Yeah, I'd say that's a hit. Here we go. All right. It's barely. For ten damage. Oh, okay. Wow. 
as wow. as the other the other blade just stabs right into like right into your lower back, um, and you are going to feel like feel the sharp pain and the yeah, rush of blood staining yeah, your like, tunic. Cry out in pain. Yeah. I'm sorry. My I didn't throat has been split, fucker. and then I got <laughs> cut like stabbed in the back. Fuck me. I wonder if ED Rip is uh is working right now. Uh, hold on. Yeah, it, it sh probably should be. It is not. Oh god, it's not working yet. Better TTV has not rolled it out yet. But we will have the ED rip for you guys to use uh, to, when you look back on this moment. Quinn, what do you want to do? <laughs> what do you want to do? Can I fake being dead? Can I just like cry out? Ah, and fake then, like, death. Yeah, can I, for five minutes. Can I can I play possum or something? <laughs> Kind of uh, like yeah, you can drop me on the ground because he's persuasion like, check. I just, I just want to ragdoll. I want to ragdoll so that he thinks I'm dead and then drops me on the floor. Uh, yeah, you can, you can cool? sort of. I will let you roll a deception check to go limp to play dead. <laughs> oh, good. I am, I am super great at deception. <laughs> Look at me, I'm dead. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yep. Well, just like I said, I try to ragdoll like I'm dead in his arms, and uh, whether or not he believes that, you just kind of you just kind of slump down, and you guys watch as Finn just sort of slumps, and the blood is like slowly staining the front of his tunic, uh, and a, a, as he is like most most likely he's actually passing out very soon. Um, he just goes like, bah. okay. This creature is actually, the uh, the alien is actually going to take Quinn's body and, like, physically use the top two arms to shove him into the wall over here. Uh, and then it's going to step forward and Still take... Still achieve my goal. And take two slashes at you, Karak. Bring it. Stay Rock out with fucker. the Karak out. Let's go. This is, num <laughs> this is number one. This is number two. They both hit. All right. Because fuck me. Uh, 2d6 plus 8 for that. That is a total of 18 damage. By the way, you guys uh, never en you guys never enabled your hit po uh, your uh, HP bars on your tokens. Yeah. So no one in we have no to enable that. Uh, if you double click your token uh, where it says bar one, you just fill in your total HP on the right side, and okay. you fill in whatever your current HP is on the left side. Oh, I didn't know you wanted us to do that. Well, it just it's for people on the watching on stream. No, I'm um, I'm just used to automatically having it there, so I had no idea that you could. Uh, actually, actually, you know what? Do it on it. do it on uh, on bar three. I'm gonna change that to green. Okay. Yeah, I hate how it always goes on the wrong color. Bars. There you go. Do it on bar three. All right, okay. cool. Uh, so that is its t uh Karak as it lays into you with two blades. Um, that's gonna be its turn. Robin, what do you want to do? Um. I am. Um... Because my magic is always, my magic is always so successful. Um, I'm going with a chromatic orb first. Okay. And I'm going to use. Um, let's use some ice damage. It doesn't change the damage. It and just yeah. Anyway. Oh, why did it automatically? Oh, never mind. So 14. Uh, so that is a, what do you mean? Why did it change to 14? No, no, no. Um, it, it didn't ask me, uh, for chromatic orb. It didn't ask me at what level I wanted to cast it. I, I wanted, I want to cast it. Uh, yeah, what would, what know. would, what would casting it at a higher level do? Uh, I can cast it at a higher level anyway, but usually, like, for example, for um, sleep, it asks me, it usually asks you automatically what level you want to use. I can't, I only have first level, but it automatically rolled it, so that is why what what's um, confused me. Don't don't worry about it, I'm just going to check it out later. It rolled it correctly, so it's all good. All right. Uh, 14 against this AC, correct? Mm-hmm. Um, that will just hit. Okay... Oh, okay. I take it back. For some reason, it's asking me now, um, as I'm rolling the the damage at what level I'm casting it. I only have one first level slot left anyway. Okay. So seven. Uh, all right. So you, uh, let me actually 
I don't remember exactly what chromatic orb is, uh, spell-wise, like what it looks like. It, it's um, like a small, small, um, like a two-inch diameter diameter disc that you hurl at the at the target, and then you can choose between I think five different type of. Uh, what, types what type of, of what type of damage do you want to choose? Ice. It's a disc, not an orb. Yeah, it's an obviously it's an orb, but um... it's a silver <laughs> disc. <laughs> Just wing one of those at him. <laughs> just fling a little coin. Here you go. Um, so you uh, you just kind of hurl this uh, this small glowing blue ball at him, and it hits him squarely in the chest as he is distracted by fighting Karak, uh, and it will slam into him for a little bit of damage uh, as he does not he doesn't seem too phased by it. He, he seems to fight through it, uh, but um... yeah. I think I will stay there for now. I want to see how everybody has moved by the next time, uh, okay. by the end of the next round, if we... If uh, we also, Robin, what, what's your health total at right now? Um, hold on, let me double check. I think it's 24. Oh. You're, I mean, what, like, how many, how many, not, like, how many points out of total are you? Full? I am full. Okay, just putting it on, uh, on both sides of your bar, so you actually have a bar there. Um, Karak is at negative 18, apparently. 32. So what had happened was, <laughs> uh, I, I, I know. went to use a modification and it just didn't take it away. There you go, done. Um, okay, uh, so that means it is Figboot's turn. What do you want to do? Figboot. All right. Uh, I would like to use first a bonus action to cast Healing Word on Quinn. Okay, go for it. At first, thank you. Level. You're welcome. My what what word do you want to use? <laughs> Asshole. No. What what is your word of choice? My word of choice is <laughs> rise. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, Quinn. You can take your seven hit points back. Uh, as and your then... your wounds begin to clot and stop up. For my action. What is the floor of this room made of? Uh, is it stone? Or is no, it, it is metal. Okay. I would like to... Let me see. Yeah, okay. I would like... ...for this uh, alien. Right. So you, you broke a, up a little there. And, uh, let's see. Um, I basically want to um, take the area that this alien is standing on and okay. then use heat metal on it so that it's basically... Um, okay. I think I can do. So I'll just link the spell right now. Okay, cool. Boop. So... Yeah, okay, so I think that that's what it means. He has to make a DC 13 constitution save, and if not, then he takes 12. Okay, constitution <laughs> save. Uh, he is going to fail because he has okay, no, he cool. has no constitution score. You can use bonus action. And then every subsequent turn of mine, I can use a bonus action to cause this damage again. As, okay. As, as long as he's touching it. Do, do you, you so you uh, you could have plant your hand down on the uh, on the metal floor. Do, I, I have to check. Does it say it's in a radius or it's, does it say... it's a uh, it's a uh, sixty feet and Hold it on just says second. choose a uh, manufactured metal object. Hold on, it I'm looking right now. Um, you cause the object to glow red hot. Any creature in contact with it uh, when you cast a spell. Um, mm -mm -mm. Okay, so it is it is ranged. That's all I needed yeah. to know. All right, so you you plant your hand down on this metal floor and you just kind of begin intoning the druidic rites as you contact the spirits and the essence of fire, um, and you just feel the molecules in this metal uh, heating up. It's 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 sort of uh, it's it's is it almost as if you're you're kind of channeling your inner fire. Um, and you watch the area under this creature begin to glow. You hear, a, you see a faint sizzle coming from under its uh, its strange clawed feet. Uh, however, the creature does not seem to be all that affected. 
It doesn't... Okay. It just... I mean, it stands its ground. It doesn't seem to be, like, pulling away in discomfort or, or pain. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and for my movement... Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. I would move, if I could, back over here, kind of next to this chair. Kind of like as I'm as I after I heat the floor, I back up and let Robin kind of pass me, or get ready to pass me, and then I okay. go behind the chair. Cool. Uh, next up is Karak. You have drawn your blade. And you, this thing has attacked you already. What do you want to do? Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> All right. All right. Put, putting it's the hat on. on. That means it's that serious. Is, that that frenzy means, hat. That means it's rage time. Because I have to rage and then frenzy. All right. Pop into a rage. And I'm going to charge. Pop into a rage. This alien. Because it's hurting my future has Bondo. <laughs> all right charging and prepping the great x cool are is it just me or are, are alerts down hold on one second no go I'm, I'm talking to myself uh alerts might be down though um <laughs> okay <laughs> no shouldn't be i don't know um Anyway, thank you, uh, thank you, many sided dice for following. Also, sorry, charging reckless or recklessly attacking. I forgot to mention. Okay, reckless charge attack, uh, which is going to be a fourteen against it. Uh, fifth. D oh, you get advantage. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah fifteen will hit. All right. Oh, that didn't give me the attack. Sorry, my bad. There we go. Fourteen damage. All right, so that brings it up to do 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 do. All right, math. That is a uh, exclamation point math. Um, okay, so you uh, that is that that's your first attack, right? You have another one. Oh wait, hold on. I'm um, holding on. That should be sixteen because that was the great axe that wasn't in rage. So that gives me plus two to damage. I'm sorry, because you can see the plus three. I'm still getting used to this. It's been a week. Sorry. That's fine. It's a uh, 16 will still hit. Oh, you mean damage? Oh, damage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You uh, you bring down your axe for a solid strike as you almost like walk through the the like the small cuts that it's kind of slicing on your body. You just kind of step right through them and with a big hefty swing of your axe, you chop into it, kind of burying it right in this thing's shoulder uh, and ripping the blade out. You do you have a second attack? Can that second roll count as a second I'll, Yeah, attack? sure. Why not? That crit? Uh, is that what it did? Yeah, go for it. Shit, all right, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to make you re-roll it. All right, let's go. All right. ED20s on the for the crit. Uh, <laughs> so it is going to be a to another 16? Uh, yes. Or should that be also plus three for... No, that should be... That should be the 14, 15, 16. Yeah, it should be 16 again. Okay. Let's see, that brings it to... Uh, 32. 32. I Sorry, I'm doing math now. Oh, sorry. How do you want to do this? Do I kill it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Got the axe. I charged him in. I'm just going to take the great axe right behind me and slice right from the shoulder straight through maybe even nick off maybe the shoulder of its second freaky ass arm <laughs> <laughs> all right so you uh as you bring your you kind of bat like this thing is just slicing at you with two blades uh landing cuts across your chest and arms uh but you just sort of power through those and with one heavy swing you bury your axe first right in this thing's shoulder blade like right along the co the collarbone you feel kind of the cracking of the the small bones uh in in this thing's shoulder and neck and chest and as you rip your axe out you kind of take a breath and with a roar you lift it over your head and almost like you're splitting wood you aim for the same spot and you bring it down catching right along the, the wound and just breaking through the rib cage as you go. Yeah. I'm gonna spit on it before I do that. 
All right. You, uh, you, 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 you kind of spit right on this thing, and you split the rib cage, just bone <laughs> rib after rib, and you hear kind of the, the wet cracking sound of bone as this thing just, <laughs> as there is a splatter of kind of greenish blue blood, uh, across the floor, and this thing, like, all of a sudden, it stumbles its legs not able to support itself as it kind of cranes its head up very weakly, almost looking at you. And you hear, as it drops down to one knee, you hear clatter as one of its blades hits the ground and it looks up at you. You see its eyes go wide for a second as it says, Can I take it? And then it falls over to the ground. Quinn uh, drags himself into a sitting <laughs> position and then slumps against the wall that he's next to, looks up at Karak and just says, well done. I'm going to wipe some spittle. Just give him an, an acknowledging nod. All right. So, like, can we, like, take a, a short rest, you guys? <laughs> I mean, okay. this uh, this creature is this creature is destroyed. You guys, uh, you guys have the time now. Let me put an X on this thing. Uh, you're I'm just gonna, sort of left alone in this chamber. I'm gonna drop uh, heat metal and then. Um, and I just realized I... I've been talking to all of myself. <coughs> so I didn't unmute yeah, myself. I mute. would like to take a close look <laughs> at the room to make sure that there's not a second one or a third one of that those little fuckers. Okay, okay. Roll me a perception check. Like I'm especially uh, taking a close look at the sort of like a shadowy errors. Perception. Yeah, we need to we need to make sure we get them all before they have time to arm nope. themselves. Somebody help me. I got you. Hold on. I'm super perceptive as I, you know, breathe super heavily and foam at the mouth. <laughs> All right. Um, you don't notice anything immediately in the rest of the room. Uh, give me one second. Just yeah. a short rest, you guys. Um, yeah, I'm I'm good to take a short rest. I'm good. Yeah. You don't yeah. know. You don't notice anything. Uh, anything else in the rest of the room? Let me. Uh, let me give you guys a quick recap of what this chamber looks like. Um, there is a large metal table that is surrounded by very odd-looking chairs. Uh, in here, uh, to the east, uh, there appears to be a. There's what appears to be a trans. Or I'm sorry, to the west, what appears to be a transparent wall that looks out over the desert valley that you guys just came from. Uh, there are four large pillars supporting the 15 foot high ceiling, while dozens of crude images of a pickaxe made of a skull and bones have been painted onto the walls with some sort of an ivory pigment along with several phrases in an unrecognizable language. Um, uh, I go and pick up my notebook and then wh why are the, the chairs strange to us? Are they short? <laughs> yeah, because they're half length sized. <laughs> Um, they're, they're, they're odd in the sense that they are, I mean, they are made of metal, uh, and they're of design that you've pro never really seen before. They don't look like they're designed to accommodate a human frame. The table is just a metal table, or is it also, is it similar in design? Like Do, this the... one, this one does not look to be a mechanical, uh, machine like the ones that you saw in the other room. Uh, however, um, Figboot and Robin, can you roll me a perception check, please? Mm -hmm. okay. uh, with advantage. Okay. 17. 23. Uh, you both know, Figboot, you're about to kind of like plop yourself down in one of these chairs. Um, when you actually notice, you both notice there is something stuck in the metal of the chair. Uh, like right in, right in the seating area. What does it look like? Uh, it appears to be another one of those uh, color-coded cards that you had found earlier. Mm -hmm. However, rather than a brown strip, this one seems to have a black strip. Oh, black, damn it. You ran into yes. a red door, right, guys? Yeah. Mm. So it, what do you mean with it's stuck in the middle? Is it like... It's just, it, just looks like it's, the... it just looks like it's, it's been dropped here. It doesn't look like okay. it's... You know, like someone someone left it. 
Okay, I'm picking up the the one card that's in the. So you said there's one card on each of the of these two chairs. No, there's just one card. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a black black key card. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we used two of the brown ones last time, right, Scott? Did you uh, write it down? Yeah. We used one. There goes one, one word, I think we and used the one. other one. We, yeah, used we lost one. one. We lost one. So I have one yeah. currently, and everybody else should have one as well, because there were six to mm -hmm. start with. Uh, you you okay. you encountered. Uh, I'm I am slightly re I'm slightly retconning what I said. The the doors don't uh, consume the key cards. You just found oh, okay. it. You found a door that ate one, basically. Oh. Yeah. I see. So that doesn't happen every time. Is no. What you mean. I see. Got it. Okay. But we did lose. We did have one card that got consumed. Because right. yeah, there was a door. Literally and door. figuratively. Yeah. So, so we still uh, have five of the brown ones. Yeah. Uh, everybody should have a brown card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we have one. And one. Yeah, and we black. have one black one. You take a short rest then. Yeah. Spend some hit oh. dice. Yeah. So um, Quinn pack the uh, you know tamp or uh, fills a, a pipe, and uh, I was about to offer him some chewing tobacco yeah, to make no, him feel better. He lights up a pipe, and uh, then he walks over to the. I want to walk over to the desk or excuse me the table mm -hmm. and like put down like a sewing kit on the table, and then I turn to uh, Karak and I and I say, "Can you hold this for me?" And I, I hand Karak a, like a small mirror from the case. I just hand that to you. And then, presuming that, that Karak holds it up for Quinn, I take off my neck scarf and start sewing up Yuck. my oh, neck. Gosh. And um, I'm going to spend some hit dice and recover 15 hit points from that as I bandage and sew my neck closed. Jeez. Okay. Uh, I'd like to take a closer look at the at the body. Is there anything anything interesting? I mean, I don't expect it to have coin or anything like that, but anything besides the the weapons? The weapons any good? Uh, the weapons are um, they don't look particularly ornate. They are uh, they're essentially short swords, but they their okay. design they're kind of have like a toothed design to them. Um, but they would they would essentially function in your hands as a short sword. Uh, cool. They don't appear to be special or technological or magical in any in any obvious way. Mm. Um, he himself is not really carrying much of anything. He does seem to have two um, uh, two spear like implements uh, strapped to his back that he never used. Um, and obviously, -like? yeah, they're they're basically javelins. Okay. Um, and he also has the red cloak that is now kind of tattered and stained. How many of those short sword-like weapons were there? Two? Two. Mm -hmm. um, I would say we take all of these weapons with us, just in case there's more than one of these here uh, in here after all. Just to not give them any reinforcement. And I actually... Um, so does Figboot look like he would like to have a, a short sword? Can he can uh, use a short sword? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. It's just... I, I could have actual core staff Shia LaBeouf, you know? Oh, yeah, it's, so uh, I was it's gonna, true I was gonna, That's true. I was going to take one just to, to hang on to it. But yeah. it might be better with, um, with Quinn, maybe, when he's in close quarters. It might be better with Quinn when he's in close quarters. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? I wasn't listening. I, I walk over to him and I, I show him um, the two short swords that I found and I also took the javelins. Do you think you can make use of any of these? Otherwise, I will just wrap them up and um, strip them to my backpack for the time being. Does it look like a... How's the short sword look, Askren? Does it look to be... Yeah, he said he has sort of like a... Sorry, so does, it, does it look to be what? Jaggedy. Does it look better quality than the short sword I have, or is it? I mean, uh, just the standard quality. Is this a masterwork weapon? Does this appear to be? Well, like, there is there is no there is no, ma there is no there is no masterwork in fifth in fifth edition. Okay. Um, but I mean, like, does it appear? Is it made of some cool alien metal? Possibly. Um. It. I mean, it's it's design is not like is not no, like not one you've seen before. So. Yeah, I mean it, it. It would be a it would be a, a short like a standard short sword, but it would be a cool. particularly nice or an exotic one. 
Okay. Well, then I'm um, going to swap that out. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take cool. that cool uh, alien short sword. Yeah, I'm taking the other in, one. Put it in my, uh, my hip holster here, and I'll just sell my old blade somewhere else. I'll sell it back to Tallulah. Can, uh, <laughs> can I ask Ben to hit that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, and thank you to Karak for the $5. Uh, there was no message <laughs> attached to it, so I don't know what the if you want to redeem that for anything to help out the players or make their lives di more difficult. But thank you either way. Uh, ED cheers, obviously. And thank you, uh, you. Bikioffy, Bikioffy, uh, for following. Welcome to the madness, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Uh, remember, guys, if you haven't already, please hit that retweet link. Uh, all right, so um, uh, I would, I would like, like to, to go down. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would like to do this and this. Do you want to? Do you also want to check out the other chairs? Uh, no, I okay. kind of would <laughs> no. like to go down do and that. pick up the cloak and wrap it around myself. And okay. <laughs> Very professional. All right. Uh, well, you would need to spend you need to spend a short rest attuning to it to actually see if sure. it does anything. I will do that. Okay. So you kind of uh, you kind of sit with this cloak, this kind of blood stained cloak, for about uh, for about five <laughs> minutes or so. Um, and one second. Uh, you find that this is a. Sorry, one second. This is a cloak of protection. We'll give you plus one to your AC. Nice. I need this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm checking out the other chairs, uh, and I also want to look underneath the table just to make sure, or to see if, if somebody dropped anything else besides the black card. And I'm going to pocket that for the time being. Um, so as soon as we run into a black door, we can use it. Can I just add cloak of protection to my inventory? Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. Fig boot kind of puts on the cloak and maybe he was thinking about offering it to the others or talking to them about it. But after a while, he just kind of sits there and he's just contentedly like wrapped up in this <laughs> blood stained red cloak. And he's like, is, is he a little burrito? Yeah. He's a little, he's a little dwarf burrito right now. <laughs> so do I find anything? Uh, looking where? Uh, I, I'm checking out the other chairs, and then I'm also looking underneath the table just to make sure we don't miss miss. No, nah, there doesn't seem to be anything else. Mm -hmm. Okay. And on the on the opposite side wall, like over here, the, it's just wall, right? There's nothing. Yeah. Or the, is it also the the walls here are solid, and like this this is all solid wall right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the one with the window, obviously. Uh, you don't see any doors. Okay. Then I'm just. Robin is just going to slam down on one of the chairs and puts her boots up on the table and leans back and just relaxes for a moment, but uh, takes out um, her short sword. All right. Um, during your rest, you guys kind of catch a breath. You are also going to receive for your next endeavor. You're going to receive a natural 20 for each player. Thanks to many sided dice with sixteen dollars says I'm enjoying this channel a lot. Good job all. Thank you, my friend. Thank, thank you, thank you. you. Thank you. You're the best. We love you so much. <laughs> Make sure guys, uh, E D cheers and E D love in chat. Thank you, my friend. Um so you guys are all kind of catching your breath, uh, taking a rest. Um What uh do you do you wanna stay here? Do you wanna do you wanna attempt to push on? Do you want to head somewhere else? Yeah, no, let's just do a short rest. I mean, we literally just slept like we did. Yeah, well, th this in this room. <laughs> yeah, so um, the I, you, you will say the short rest is over. You guys have caught your breath. Unless you want to continue yeah. searching for something. I, I mean, I, I checked all the chairs and I looked underneath the table. Is there a lamp in this room? <laughs> Every time. He's looking for the lamb while Karak is looking for uh half halflings. Yeah. Halflings. There is we a there a halfling lamp. There is a halfling lamp, yeah. It's it's one of those um it's one of those like fanciful uh you know it's got it's got the sculpted me, like, the sculpted woman, but it's a lamp. but it's a halfling. Yeah. It's like someone it's like someone took one of those like uh the those those lamps that are like a woman and then just whoop, scaled it down, <laughs> like smushed it down. Large hairy feet i'm gonna like i'm gonna pick it up and look at it i assume quinn probably wants it but i'm gonna spend a lot of time just 
studying it <laughs> <laughs> to get a sense of halflings. So this is what they look like. But what do they fight like? <laughs> like mad men. One day, Karak, one day you will they see your halflings. I, as I'm holding it, it's like, I almost want to just smash it into the floor. <laughs> and I sit there transfixed. And I well, just, I, yeah. I come over and I sort of... I, I don't know uh, why... Frankly, I don't, pat her shoulder. I don't know why we... Even real, was it? I was going to say, I don't know yes, why we decided now. there really was a yep, halfling lamp. Really, really you really said there was. It's in my inventory. <laughs> Uh, this is what you get. <laughs> we had a whole RP session around the last I look month. at I look at I look at Fig Boot and I say I, I fear um the tobacco I gave her might have some side effects on orcs. I'm a little bit concerned. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like shove it into shove it into Quinn and then walk away. Shove what into Quinn? The lamp. Oh, okay. I, I take the lamp and put it in my pack. Let's go, you guys. Uh, I'm <laughs> I'm I'm scouting ahead just sort of to <laughs> throw an ear out there. Not literally, because I can't do that yet. <laughs> yet. Yet. Is that an ability? I, I, I expect, I fully expect to be, to have a lot of replaceable body parts and be like a cyborg so um oh man do you guys really think that could happen says the guy Hell who yeah. already has the robotic arm I just <laughs> all right never mind <laughs> so um yeah I'm, I'm sort of stepping outside let's say until up until here and just listening well if, if i hear anything either coming from this door behind the store maybe from further down the, oh, the hallway it. Uh, you you hear, I mean, still the echoing kind of uh, rumbling sounds that you triggered in the other room before. Those are still going on. Uh, there, the only door that you guys have not actually uh, checked is this one uh, right there. Hold on, I, I just realized that this is playing and I got to turn that off. Um, yeah, the only door that you haven't checked is the one that's right in front of you, basically. What, what color code does it have? Uh, one second... Um, this door seems to have a black strip on it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, okay. <laughs> then I'm going back. That wasn't an in-game siren, was it? No, mm -hmm. that would be... No, that's no. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> yeah, right. Rowan stands in front of the door and does like a little dance. <laughs> no, she does not. <laughs> I like that we took it like it was a panic alarm and you're like, nope, time to dance. It's like you guys rush out to the hallway, weapons ready, like, what's going on? And she's like, <laughs> and she's, she's just, <laughs> like, she doesn't even know, she doesn't even notice you're watching. She just look over like, oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, uh, you sound uh, very much like an alarm. That, it, you know, in my, when I was younger, I always, what, I never, never mind, just, it's, I, I found the door. <laughs> there was something alarming here, though. <laughs> <laughs> So that was that all happened in my head, and then I'm flashing back, going back to the actual situation in the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I, I particularly look at Quinn. I say, if, if you if you feel alright, and we can go on. Um, actually, the store over there has uh, has a black color code, and here's a card to it. At least I hope it will work. I'm ready to move on. Did right? someone uh, draw down that weird? painting in I, on the pillar well yeah, i i i took a, i made a sketch of uh as much as i could um the the weird bone pickaxe and i also uh I, I wrote on some of these weird letters and um uh out of character Eskrin, you said there were also like humanoid figures on there or skulls and they did definitely not look like those aliens the, right? s the symbol of the skull is, is definitely a human skull oh that's skull. okay yeah, yeah. yeah okay um, so yes, um, I didn't copy everything, because there's a lot of writing, but good sample, and this skull pickaxe thing. Um, I can't write. I actually have an idea. What I is it? I remember one word or pair of words that this thing said when it was holding Quinn. It said something like Osara, 
something like that. Yes, and, and the thinking, second time it sounded like it was sounded it, like it just Osar. said Osar mm -hmm. or Osa. What if we go? I'm thinking, perhaps we can find out what this may mean by going back into that uh, room, and possibly saying that. I'm not sure. You think can it might not? activate something? I don't know. I'm not sure if there's any way to determine if we can. <sighs> well, we, 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 can... we don't know what it said in the first place. Well, yes. I mean, we're already here, and the other room is just a few steps away, so... We can give it a try, but... Exactly. Messing with this kind of technology sometimes can have dangerous results. Okay. Uh, I'll just give it a try, so Figboot will just go back in the in the control room, or whatever. Yeah, I follow and sort and... of peek into the room. I'll keep watch. Uh, he's this... like he's like Gandalf <laughs> in front of he's the like, of the Moria. Right. <laughs> okay. Here we are. All right, um, down. follow your. I, are you, I are think... you just are you just gonna like stand I in the middle of the room and say say the word? <laughs> no, I would I would go up to the. I think the green the... was kind of like what we perceive to be the the control panel, or at least the. There was also a, a golden screen. Yeah. Next mm -hmm. to the pillar. Mm -hmm. So I would go up to that and then. Um, yeah, I guess I would just try saying the word in front of it, or, like, to the control panel. <laughs> That's okay. the first thing I'd do. You begin, try you, you intone, emphasis. you intone the phrase, uh, you try it a few different ways, but... <laughs> you intone the phrase, okay, Google. <laughs> okay, Google. Osara. <laughs> Hello, and I did not back. understand the And then in the, in the back, in the back, you hear, it's Osara, not Osara. <laughs> a, a little clippy prop pops up. Oh, I see that you're trying to use an alien mothership. Would you like to help? No, go away. Um, Practice comes in uh, and slams it at that point. Just, no! Oh, no! Gosh. We'll do it ourselves! <laughs> um... No, you, uh, you, you intone the word in a few different ways. Uh, you try it in front of a few different machines. Doesn't seem, there doesn't seem to be any effect. All right. Well, if we encounter one of those things again, I'm sure that that word either means I'm going to kill you or are you an ally? So we have to figure out which one that is because that's a very important decision. I agree, Figfood. I agree all right let's I go back, meet out. back up with the others and go to the door i look at the others i said didn't work and then i um pull out the the card and uh it, it, it's like a like a sliding card reader is it is it uh, yeah it's just, imagine it's uh when you're at a door it's gonna be a lot more technological than this but imagine like a hotel key card basically oh okay so I've I've seen Quinn do that before. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll assume at this did. point we'll assume at this point he's probably explained how they work to you. Um, mm. Okay, so, so you yeah, want doing that? You want to yeah, key yeah, card yeah. the door? Mm -hmm. Are the, re the rest of you guys close behind? Yep. Yes, All sir. Right. Okay, let me move you right here, and right here. Um. So you will. Uh, you guys will actually uh, this is only this is only i'm not going to actually physically do it because there's no point but um as you make your way through the door you're going to arrive in what you saw last time which was um the, this kind of long like round hallway that seems to curve around in a very large mm -hmm. a ring however um there's a door not far down the hall from you another set of doors which your key card will also open the it, you can continue in both directions but you will very quickly find that pretty much uh, in varying distances both have been like caved in or destroyed at some at some point uh, the one immediately north of you is like probably about 30 feet down and probably about 150 feet or so uh, the other one just turns into like a tangle of metal and impassable like electronics um, so there's uh, there's just the one door and because you're going through the, I'm gonna assume you're going through that door also um, yeah let me grab yeah. your tokens. So basically, we enter into a hallway that does stretch out, but both ends of the hallway are kind of caved in, and there's yeah. No so you you learned um you learned last week that there was um 
th there was uh, like a long hallway that ringed yeah, the entire habitat the dome. So you will basically find that. Um, I'm going to put you guys on this map here. Ooh. And New map! New map! I'm excited! Yay! It's the map. 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 All right. I'm the map. <laughs> Can you somebody guys. point to the alien structure? <laughs> All right. Uh, so you guys are you guys have transferred. Uh, the, you are sta basically standing in front of the second keycard door that you have to pass through. Um, and Shoot you can you can see the way. the door is okay. is like half of it is is locked, but it looks like the other the bottom half of the door is slightly damaged. Okay. So, it does it does it seem to be active? Uh, it looks like the door is trying to open itself. Is as if it's kind of stuck in a loop. Okay, I'm I'm looking at Quinn and I say, sh should I even try to to insert the card, or will it? Is it going to to just eat it? Uh, so, can I can I make like an investigation check to see if it's just beyond operation and we're yeah, go for it. Got a twelve. Um, this door looks like it is closed, but it actually doesn't. It actually appears to be unlocked. It looks like someone has bypassed this lock before you. Oh, okay. Hmm. Like someone has physically. You can see signs of tampering. This door's been tampered with, but it's unlocked. We can just force it open. I'm trying to give it a, a push, just I to can see. Help. Okay. Uh, once you guys get on either side of it, you can easily start of haul this door open. Cool. Um, and as you do, you oh, are tiger, going... since you weren't here last time, we have a crowbar, by the way, so... Why do we need a crowbar? You have me. Well, if you use it, you get advantage on your strength checks. So... That's Maybe it's, it's beneath Cause her. Because you weren't around last time, so we used, we uh, utilized the hell out of it. So I'm just letting you know if you if you want it, we have a crowbar. He's saying, he's saying you've been replaced. Yes, by, by a crowbar. crowbar. Just for opening doors, not for other <laughs> I, th I thought I meant Morty, you Quinn. No, I just, you know, and I want to You know, she, she wanted to embrace you. She, she was willing to make out with you in front of the alien, and that is Dude. how you repair. If, if you should have sp let him slit your throat. If you're spending less time <laughs> opening doors, then there's more time for hugs. <laughs> um, Fair all right. Enough. So, you, uh, so let me just uh, remove this coloring. Um, you guys are looking into uh, the chamber. I'm gonna put you right up here because you were you were hauling this door open. Uh, you see, there appears to be a fairly expansive and fairly uh, appointed room uh, on the other side of this door. Did we find the CIC? The what? C D C. Oh, I heard C I C. No. No, that is what I said. C I C. Isn't that the command in? What was it called? The um. I think we both get it. <laughs> blah blah blah. I'm thinking like. Walking Found the dead secretary's CD desk. CD uh, so, so you guys wanna you guys wanna step in? Well, we would probably need the CDC yeah, as well soon. What's up? Yeah, uh, yes. We'll step in. I I whispered. You guys can. Oh. Okay. You want a torch? Yeah. Um. Oh shit! What? Is that blood? Oh shit! All right. Uh, so Sorry, you... Figbut, Figbut said something. What did you say? I, I said. Uh, oh. Do we go forward with light or no? Um, if you it's sh pitched... You should have light, no? Yeah, if I'm asking if say... we're gonna use one. Robin's always lit up. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, she, he's, he's asking if you want to, if you want to, like, go stealthily. Didn't you say uh, something about a torch or light? I, I just said, basically, do we want to go forward with light or no? Yeah, if it's if it's pitch dark, I don't yet have dark vision. I also need to replace my eyes, so I hope I very soon find <laughs> something. Cyborg you know, eye surgeon. Like, yeah, Transhumanism. Eye surgeon. LASIK, the game. Special LASIK. <laughs> so always assume that that I I have cast light on my on my okay. shoulder pads. Okay. Uh, all right. So you make oh, you make your way into this chamber. Um, you can see there is a large metal desk uh, with blinking lights and strange-looking glowing panels that sits atop uh, the raised area on the east side of this room uh, near a circular table. Uh, you can see 
two couches uh, that are covered with black material sit against the wall to the south. Um, and there are a pair of black metal pillars uh, directly to the north and south of you guys. You can just make out splatters of what appears to be dried blood staining the floor and the walls near a pair of doors in the north, while here and there, more patches of rust-red mold and fungus cling to the southern wall. Uh, the room itself is brightly lit by glowing panels in the ceiling. Huh. Um, I'm, Robin just wa walks over to the bloodstains, um, can she ascertain just how old that is? Like, has it already really sort of crusted over and stuff like that, or is it, is it I a would, little bit fresher? I would walk over and try to do the same. I'll actually go all the way up to the door and try to listen through it, possibly. Okay. Um, I'm on your blood splatter adventure. Uh, roll me a medicine check to, to see if you could identify anything about this blood. Shit, I, th I should have thought that through because I have a minus one on medicine. I'll, I'll do that before I listen. Okay. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use my, my, uh, I'm not going to use my d20 for that. Oh, the, um... Your nat 20? Nat okay. 20. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to use it. No, no, that. I got it, I got it, yeah. Uh, so an 11 for you, fig boot, Yay! and an 8 for mm, you. For um... Uh, you can here one second. Um, you can see that the blood is not is not terribly terribly old. Um, like it's not there's not like a layer of dust or anything, or it's not like scuffed up and uh, as if it's been scraped away after it dried. So your get your best guess is it's fresh-ish in the sense that it obviously wasn't here with the ruin. Uh, exactly how long it's been on this f in this place, it's hard for you to tell. All right. And it seems human, or you humanoid. Look at halfling. <laughs> not not alien. It's red. Well, I mean, the it's alien red. Had green had green. Okay. Blood, That's the best right? you can tell. Greenish blue. Right. Yeah. And now I'd like to listen through the door, please. Okay. Roll me a perception check. Okay. See anyone else doing anything while he's doing that? Uh, I would like to move up the staircase over here, and then from this point, get behind the desk. I want to check out that computer. Cool. Um, all right. What do you want to what uh, What do you want to look at on the computer? Um, the The computer, the screens and stuff, you can almost instantly identify. Uh, have been fairly dam fairly extensively damaged. You can see her, you can see um, that the monitors and stuff seem to sort of blink in and flash in random patterns. Uh, occasionally, you can see uh, bits of static and garbled text. Um, some of it you recognize as and or pretty much most of it you recognize as Androffin. Um, though you'd have to probably sit here and watch to see if there's any pattern to it. Okay. I jack into the system and then hack it. So you, you want to like sit down at the chair and just watch? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. So you just, you, you are sitting there watching the monitors. Um, Is it, does it eventually go to the cool like pipe screensaver and I can just watch that? <laughs> no, it's uh, it's it's more like one of those weird, like like staticky videos. Like it's just flickering between a whole bunch of different screens. Um, so Figboot, you were you're kind of like leaning against this door and listening. You you can hear what sounds like a deep sort of rumbling somewhere in this structure, but it's not immediately um on the other side of here, uh, of this uh this chamber. You don't actually hear anything really that sounds like it's coming from the opposite side here. Uh, those black pillars are they actually supporting the room or are they? Yes. Decorative? No, they okay. they are they are supporting. Okay. Um, is there anything in this cor sorry in this corner over here next to the door with the blood, or is it just stuff? Okay, give me one second. Mm-hmm. Um, where am I, where am I, where am I? Uh, in that corner, um, mostly, uh, there's what appears to be some panels, uh, in, in the walls. There's, um, 
some some things like boxes and stuff that are attached uh, that are mm. covered in writing and markings. You're not particularly familiar with any of them. Um, you want I to should, I should fig boot a look, sort of like a questioning look, as in, you know, got there anything? I, I shake my head and what is the condition of the store? Does it look like it is closed and relatively untouched or could I tell anything about it? Um, the I will assume at this point you guys ha you guys have learned to look for the key cards. So if you want, um, so if you want, I will. I am happy to give you if there is uh, like an access level uh, along with the description of the door. Um, sure. The uh, so the door itself seems to be a familiar sort of sliding door like this. Uh, it is closed and sealed, and as far as you can tell, the access panel level is brown. Is there um, is there any blood on the door? There is a li there's a little bit, yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you for the host, Unmade Gaming. Thank you, Mike. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Um, so... Is... Yes. I was just gonna ask if there's anything operable on this computer at all. Or is this completely fucked? Um, the... What you're... Roll me, roll me a... a technology oh, check. Fucked. Got a twenty. Uh, really nice. Okay. Um, yeah, you can you can see that uh, like it appears that the whatever crash the ship experienced uh, has damaged this machinery very heavily. Uh, you can see it's kind of br blinking and flashing in um, in random uh, pa in random patterns. You can spot what what you appear to be a communication array, meaning that this was most likely a place that could possibly communicate with other um, other systems on the ship uh that is most likely broken as far as you can tell um there are kind of garbled lines of scrambled and drop in uh sometimes there seems to be images of strange creatures that flash briefly on one of the monitors um you can actually see uh what creatures that you know pictures of things that look fairly familiar you um one of them looks like the four-armed alien that you just encountered uh, not it, it, like a photograph, but like a more of an anatomical diagram. Uh, you can see quite a few things of other of other types of creatures, just briefly flashes of them that you've never seen before. Um, roll me a perception check, though. Yep. Trying to download all this information to my brain. I got a seventeen for perception. Uh, you. You are. Uh, watching this kind of taking notes um you know furiously and as you as you kind of look up uh it almost seems to linger on for like uh, for just a second you see in 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 it's in androphin uh but the letter it it almost takes up the whole screen and the letters are spaced out so it's not like a like crunch together it's like wide um it just says divinity Does it show uh, in your face, Quinn, that you found anything interesting? I don't know how 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 involved in your Dexter CSI work over there are you? <laughs> no, I I came over. Um, I walked up the the stairs. Actually, about to ask you if you. Well, it was him. it was really quick, so I don't know how much of a reaction there would have been. Like it was well, a, then it I would simply fast. ask you. <laughs> found anything over here? No, the screen seems to be pretty messed up. It's just flashing images. Uh, there was one word that caught my eye, uh, but it's in their language. Could you read it? Uh, in common, it would translate to divinity. Hmm. Well, I I just scribble it down in my notebook, and then I say also, the... I'm taking this with me, and I grab the keyboard off the desk, and I put it in my pack. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do not question that, <laughs> and I um, uh, and then I just said the the door over there. Uh, we can we can try to open it if we wanted to. It has a brown color code. I mean, uh, there's no telling what we will find behind it. And then I actually look over to this other. Is that's that's also a door on this side here. 
Yeah, and yes. I was also going to ask about the other thing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I was I was gonna say, can I I want to look at <laughs> what whatever this door is here. I'm assuming it's like a coat closet or something, but yeah, right. I was wondering like cloak, a shelf cloak or was it cloak of protection closet? <laughs> <laughs> look at all these conveniently placed cloaks of protection, you guys. It's a medicine cabinet. Sorry, give me one uh, one second here. Browse. What is it most? Why is that stuck? I don't know why it's stuck. Um, okay, so you are uh, you are going to check the closet. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's in the AV closet? Came out of the closet. Uh, the closet is similarly locked. However, that uh, it appears to require a black level access. Like one of those cards? Yeah. Yeah. Then we have like five of those. You have Robin, one. You have one, one black level. Oh. You have five brown level cards. Four brown level cards now. Well, didn't okay. you? No. Then we have two black now because I still have. No, no. You only found one black card, on the chair. Every person. Every oh, person. Oh, so then I missed. Sorry, then I misunderstood you. I thought that if the door actually opens, then we will get the card back. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you. Yeah. You only found one black card. Yeah. Well, each then per what do you mean? Each person has a brown card in their possession, and you're the only person who has a black card. Yeah, but so, so, sorry. Then, and then I actually misunderstood what you found in that closet. The, closet. the closet door requires a black key to open. Uh, yeah, so, okay. bla okay. black level okay. access. Okay. So Quinn to Robin says, Robin, this one requires black. And I, and I sort of raise my hand and I give me one sec uh, kind of fashion, and I take a look at the door in front of me. Okay. Just just to see what kind of access that actually requires. Uh, this one appears to require a, a brown level access. Okay. Um, then Robin is going to walk back over here and sort of keeping my voice down a little bit. I say, so we have the the black access door over there, the one with the blood. I think we wasn't able to hear anything from coming from the other side, but. Well, we can give that a try, or the one over there, or the, um, Quinn, what, what is it? Is it actually a door, or do you think it's just, uh, something for storage? Well, I mean, it's a door. I don't know what could be behind it. So I look at the others two, other two, and I say, so... Want to try that small one first? Yes. Uh, perhaps we should place ourselves in a uh, readying position in case something were to come out and try to eat our faces. That sounds wise. Big Bird, we're ready. Uh, and then, yeah, then then I will uh, use the black card on this little thingy door. Okay. Let me, uh... As you uh, as you place the card in, you hear a small ching and a ch as the door slides out of the way, uh, and you find yourself looking into a small uh, but spacious storage closet. It seems or or um, uh, storage area. Uh, it, the area itself looks like it contains a set of upright lockers, um, uh, s like storage containers, basically. I was just about to say it's the server room. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's not. These are these are like upright um, uh, storage lockers. Um, I'll check them out. Okay. Um, what? So the the lockers. Uh, uh, what kind of closing or locking mechanism do they have? Are they? Is it also high tech or is it more like something that I could actually deal with? Uh, the the shitty tool for once. The shitty padlock that's a disaster. <laughs> That would make me so happy, believe me. Uh, I've the, not been able to use my thief. The lockers, the lockers actually don't appear to have any sort of uh, like electronic lock on them. Okay. Um, well, let's first start with with the easy, easier part. Lock? Are they even locked? No, they they don't have they don't have like a padlock. It seems like they have a they have a like a latch mechanism, but it doesn't look like they actually are physically um, like sealed uh, in it, like permanently sealed. 
so uh, first of all, I'm going to to try see if they're already unlocked. So yeah, you can you can pull the latch. The latch. Yeah, mm. um, okay. you pull the latch on the first one, and and there's a body inside. You you, <laughs> you see um oh. falls right forward. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's where I left Just that. Like, with the um, guy was perfectly <laughs> ready to stab. <laughs> you uh he you, waited a little bit too long there there's actually um there's actually a uh like kind of a kind of a puff of dust that comes out from here and you see um it looks like what whatever has been <laughs> in oh that's exactly nice. Nice perfect reaction time. um you see the uh that it looks like whatever was in here has probably long since decayed and crumbled to dust there is really just debris and rubble and right. a whole and not a whole lot of a whole lot in here same with the other mm -hmm. two lockers um as you as you go one by one and opening them there's a lot of junk a lot of like long since rotted and decayed uh garbage however over the course of each locker um you will be able to find uh, a one very very strange looking but still functional uh, flashlight. Uh, you will find three uh, small spherical batteries, uh, and you will find a total of twenty six silver discs. Yeah, I love those silver discs. Nice. Um, uh, also, the the third locker that you check uh, seems to have uh, what appears to be a like a small security bin like it's a metal it's like a metal uh like a metal box uh with that is it doesn't look immediately like it has an opening mechanism uh it has a white labeled panel on its surface which you uh and you see a, a card slot in it um okay so it's uh is a label so does it does it basically look like it has a color code white or is it just a label and then there's written yeah it's, written it looks it. like it appears to ha to be require white level access gotcha okay i take all of this and bring is it outside box, is the box small enough to be taken with us like can we yeah it's it's probably like sh it's probably like shoebox sized okay so i'm actually i'm coming back out and i place all of what i found over here on the um on the desk and so would i i guess with my little bit of of technology or le knowledge about technology i would i would be able to identify the flashlight would yes you you've seen them before they're fairly common uh tools that have that are like traded and and used by delvers and you should definitely take that yeah and then would i would i also be able probably know you know unscrew it and see if if the type of battery that's inside is also the type of battery that i found uh no the the batteries you found go to something else however it does take the small cylindrical batteries that you found last time you found other batteries? Oh, there was something. Yeah. Why did I not? Scott, did you write that down? I think nope. I missed that. I don't recall that at all, actually. But just uh, okay. Fig boot, somebody, fa fig somebody boot found them in a, in a pile of rubble in uh, in the the room oh. with the remains. Did you take yeah. them? Did you take? Did, did you take them with you? Though? I would have. Yeah. As far yeah, as I, I know, I yeah. I just don't remember. I think we might have lost some um, some inventory when we switched character sheets so i know that my inventory yeah. didn't carry over okay so i'm going to write that down so. three flashlight batteries uh and then i'm i'm yeah so i'm basically sort of moving the or sliding the other type the other type of battery that i found over to quinn so some sad uh, um does that does this look familiar to you they do not go into this flashlight oh it looks like a battery of some sort I uh, spin, I'm gonna spin it over in my hand, and um, mm -hmm. is there like some androffin markings on there to tell me what type of battery this is? is yeah, this I mean, it, D cell. Uh, this I mean, what this are we is here? these are these are usually used in sequence to power uh, larger devices. Um, Do I need to lick it to figure out the type? Yeah, that's what I was hoping. Is a nine volt battery? And I could <laughs> yeah. say, no, they the, they're they're closed cell systems, but um, you know these generally like slot down into things. Um, and they're used how to how bigger? How big are we talking? Are we talking like a vehicle, or are we talking like in, a power tool? Like in in we... sequence, a few of these can probably power something the size of like a droid. Like what? Yeah. Like the like the medical droid that you guys fought. Okay. That was a medical droid. Yeah. Uh, no, no. That, 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 was, that was a repair. That was a repair drone. Sorry. Whoops. It tried to repair us. <laughs> yeah. I mean. 
<laughs> Clearly. <laughs> like, stab, stab, stab. Um... Um, how heavy is that that security bin? Can I can I put him in my back? Probably probably like uh, probably like twenty pounds. Ooh, okay. Um, Maybe not. I was gonna carry it, but I can't. I don't think I can carry that much weight right now. I think Karak. I can carry it. Thank you. Yeah, I will get. I will, I will yeah. get that to Karak. Okay. We'll we'll secure it to her pack or whatever we have to do. To, just uh, just tie it somewhere. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah like I'm tie, going and I'm tie going it to the to... bottom of her pack and so that it's secure and. Okay, I'm, and I'm I'm going to uh, put the the flashlight. Let's just assume I have another kind of slot on my wannabe utility belt, and I put the flashlight into there, and mm -hmm. then also keep the uh, I keep all the other stuff for now. I'm going to put it into my. So we now have uh, 69, 75 silver discs. We can, do a lot of, we can do a lot of gambling with that. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're done with that. So, uh, I, I'm, I'm. So Robin is going to put all the other stuff away, and then, sort of like nodding towards the the door with the blood, and say, "So, guess we gotta make a pick: either the door with the blood, or the door without the blood." Well, if we're trying to find people like us, the Lador with the blood is probably our best bet. I like your mode of deduction, Fitboot. And Fit I grin boot. a little bit. What did I say? Did I say Fitboot? Uh, no, he's no a, I just, he's a I Pokemon. just repeat. I just oh, okay. repeat he's a Pokemon, sometimes. so he repeats it. <laughs> Fig my Fig apologies. Boot. I still haven't gotten used to that. Fitboot. <laughs> haven't been around dwarves much, I'm sure. Oh, do all is that a thing that all dwarves do in this world? They all repeat their names. At least all of the Ridgebark. Uh, and as as I walk past him, I actually I actually say, "Not with a grin." Is that so that you don't forget your name? So why do you do that? Uh, no, it's more of like a when we're thinking, like most of you would say, "Hmm," or you have these small little verbal. Uh, conjectures that you have, we usually just say our name. It's nice. It rolls off the tongue. I can see and that, certainly. It's fun. I don't like it because it's different than me. Well, Karak. you can go yourself. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Stormcleave. Exactly. Uh -huh. Doesn't work. I was going to say, I grin even wider as I <laughs> I was about to ask her how if it works for her, but then she already said <laughs> Storm cleave. So what do, so what do you guys want to do? Well, the dwarfs that we're going to try the door with the blood. I want to keep making fun of Fig Boot, but I guess we're gonna keep going. Yeah, you can do that while we're walking. Very true. W remind me again why we're deciding to go through the door with the blood. Because it uh, it is more seems... likely than the door without the blood to have. If Human I mean, it makes Fig the place look so lively. Figpoo does have a point. If uh, if Connor came by here, uh, I I don't I don't want to hope that uh, this is his blood, but at least we would could find <laughs> out where any of the others that never came back went. Any of you know the speak with blood spell? <laughs> 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 How do you do? You scrape together and sort of form a little face. You're like, hello, and it's like, hello. <laughs> oh right. man, that's gruesome. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, I, I sort of look back over my shoulder, giving giving Quinn a you coming or what look. Yeah. Don't get singled out this time. What? I was telling Quinn not to get singled out. Yeah. <laughs> are we offline? Hold on. Wait, what? We're not offline, are we? Did no. we go down? No, my dashboard just says offline, but it's it's no, not. No, I'm still. I'm give still. It a, yeah, I'm give right. it a refresh. It's a little thing that happens sometimes. Ah, uh, whatever. Oh well, if we are. Uh, so you guys want to go through the blood door? Yep. Yes. Blood door. Okay. 
All right, all right. There we are. There we go. Now I see it. Um, okay. You uh, you insert your brown car access card, and the door slides open. Shh. Oh God. Um. Mm-hmm. As you uh, as the doors slide open and your light illuminates the chamber, you can see um. You can see wow. blood. Uh, blood stains mar the floor of this and the walls of this hallway, while there are also scorch marks and smears of ash on the walls as evidence of some sort of altercation having taken place in this relatively recently. Uh, four tangled mound, or you can see kind of a tangled mound of metal um, just around the corner here, uh, lying further up the hall, surrounded by strangely colored stains. Um, so is it just blood, or is there anything else? Uh, there Body are blood, parts. there are smears of s- ash, there are scorch marks, there are bits of robotics, uh, but there doesn't appear to be any human bodies here. Hmm. Um, as you, uh, as you make your way through the hall, you guys can clear- you, you can clearly make out the destroyed forms of at least four drones. Drones? Yeah, robots. Okay. Very similar to the repair drone that you found, but not exactly the same. Is there anything so? Is there anything salvageable on them? They look like they've been beaten into hell pretty badly. You could probably take some time to maybe pull repair parts and stuff, but probably not anything worthwhile. Okay. If it's not worthwhile, then I'm yeah. not going to bother. More doors. More doors. <laughs> Dorford. <laughs> you guys see at I the end we, of, at the end sorry, of this chamber yeah. two more uh Yeah, what's two, the situation with the doors? Um unless I tell you otherwise from now on you can pro- you can assume that any door is gonna have a brown level access. Alright. Brown level access. Alright, you guys wanna go forward or down? <sighs> Blood um, seems to continue forward. Yes. That's where the blood goes. Uh, yep. Forward. Good, good call. All right, we, we're going to open the the store. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, cool. Uh, which one? To the right or to the south? To the right? Yes. Yep. Got it. I think it should be said that we all have our weapons drawn, yes? Actual quarter staff, sure. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you insert the key card, and with a these doors are going to open. Uh, Quinn, you being the first inside, um, you can see that there is a long table uh, filling the southern wall of this chamber, uh, covered with various unusual stones and dirt samples, uh, heaped upon it, while to the north is a line of metal desks with glowing panels and buttons that are placed up next to a large humming device. Uh, the heart of the device seems to be some sort of flickering sphere of reddish-brown mud or dirt. Dust seems to cover much of this room, save for a strangely clean swath between the two doors, which leads to this humming device. Sorry, what humming device? Uh, it's this thing right here. Oh, okay. What is what is this? Is it a box? Just a box, or this? Oh, crate. I mean. Um. Uh. Well, yeah. No. I'm sorry. This. This will. This is the. This is the device. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So there's the. Um, device over here and then this table down here has like rock and soil samples on Mm -hmm. it yeah and then this is some sort of workstation yeah panels buttons that kind of thing imagine that there was an area that was strangely clean yeah that's basically running that's basically um like here yeah i'm going to check out here the um those and suspended in the middle of this device, there is like a, some, like sort, some of sort of mud or mud or dirt. Yeah. 
I'm going to check out the samples just to see if if anything is missing. Like, are they are they arranged in a certain type of way, or were they maybe shattered? And um, no, they seem to be disrupt, like fairly heavily, like knocked over. There is a lot of shattered stuff here. A lot of kind of it's like this probably hasn't been, hasn't been used since this thing crashed, uh, mm -hmm. but. You can't really make out much of what's going on here. Uh, mostly could do. I mean, if you could read the language, you could probably figure out what was, you know, more of what was going on here. But um, um, do I know if this is this? Um, sorry, what's the language called again? A uh... Uh, there. So this looks more like the um, the one that uh, not the one that you saw in the room that um, Quinn could not read. This looks okay. like uh, the other one, uh, which. You you definitely know the name of the the language you, is Androffen, um, but you probably wouldn't be able you're not able to read yeah. it. When there's some writing over here, if you have a moment. Yeah, I got some time. Is there? I want to first see. Is there anything on the device uh, that I can translate? Mm-hmm. Um, the right. big one? Yeah. Uh, sure, roll me a perception check. <laughs> Got a six. <laughs> Okay, so you're um you're sort of sitting down, you're you're kneeling down and like looking over this thing for um for uh, runes or for language for markings. You can see various uh you know like hazard hazard markings um you know things that say you know basic uh like open close this and that um but you don't see anything immediately that uh that that identifies what this is as you're as you're kind of pawing over it however as you as you kind of st look around the side of this thing uh quinn you're gonna hear a you're gonna hear uh um um who who are you my name is quinn Where where am I? First of all, who are you? What? Um, what is your name? I'm. N name. 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 What are what? you called? I. I don't. I don't understand. How do you address yourself? By the way, none of you in the room hear this. I mean, you hear him talking. Okay. Yeah, so I would great. turn turn around. I'm sure. So uh, he's basically talking to the humming device. That is how. Yeah, he's he's like yeah. leaning down in front of this thing, like looking around it, and he is having a conversation. Uh, yeah, I, I I'm just shooting a door. <laughs> We're just watching. I look at like, what you I look call? at Quinn, and then I look at <laughs> I look at Fig Boot, and then back at Quinn. You're in a place called Numera. What is this place? How how did I get here? Well, you'd have to tell me that. And I, I voice sort of to him like, who are you talking to? It sounds like a little girl, but since you can't hear it, I'm guessing it's in my head. What is in that pipe of yours? Since Never mind. When did you have a little girl in your head? Wait a minute, I don't like the way you phrase that question. Seems like a trap. So I sort of I sort of kneel down next to the <laughs> next to the box, sort of to you know, so holding my, my ear close to it and to see if I can hear anything. Um you guys, you guys are standing next to this thing. You hear a you hear a creaking, like a, a grinding of metal sound. It sounds like um like something being uh, something being twisted or pushed like a like as as the, the voice will continue um in fact as you approach uh um 
Robin, you will also kind of sort of begin to hear, like, other sort of inquisitive questions, like, um, who, who are you people? Are there more of you? Where do you come from? Uh, and as you see, uh, Quinn, you're kind of looking directly in this box, and you see this sort of mud ball that's in the center of this machine begins, like, moving... And you actually, as it's as you're kind of having a conversation, you watch as it physically begins, like, pulling itself out of the back of the machine. Oh, fuck. And it's wait, like, wait, 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 wait. It's free? It's on the loose? Yep. Shit. Come on, blades. And it, it, it's, <laughs> it, the whole time it's doing this, it continues to talk. It says, please, tell me. Tell me more. I sort of... Get, uh, straighten up and sort of. So, so it's a lump. It looks like a lump of of clay or mud, and it moves. Um, one second. Uh, yeah, give me. Uh, I I may actually have to open uh, the bestiary to get the exact picture of this thing. Because I don't have it in front of me. So give me one second here. It's in three. Page 52, right? Okay. Uh, this thing, as it pulls itself out, it is brown. But you notice it is... Um, it's kind of like a dark purplish brown, but it seems to appear, it appears more to be like a, a swollen kind of brain like bulb that is encrusted with uh, fungal kind of like little fungal shelves, like little growths growing off of it uh, and several sort of ropey root like legs uh, as it pulls itself out of the, uh, the thing and starts kind of crawling on top of this machine you actually see sort of a, a a split run down the center and it almost opens into what appears to be a like a toothed mouth <laughs> the fuck and it is continuing to uh to communicate in your uh in your mind and Okay, so this thing with the tooth mouth is to them what is clearly communicating, or is it the humming device? Uh, it's hard to say. Um, and yeah, it it's it's difficult. So they're basically listening to this voice as this grotesque mud monster is crawling out of the device. Yep, something like that. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna start backing up now. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. Eesh. I'm gonna back up with everybody. And, and Karak and I. Karak, 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 The uh, and I what, what, ca hear... what Karak are you smoking right now? <laughs> as as you guys as you guys kind of back up, you hear sort of mo more of you can kind of hear this. It says, "I've seen one, I've seen some of you before. Creatures like you, brought by creatures not like you. Where do you come from?" What happened to the creatures that were like us? Describe I... these other creatures. Were they very short? I don't know. I give him uh, a What are you? Exactly. Where do you come from? I can't hear what's going on, but I hear just him grilling about short people and kind of look, kind of smile a little bit. Yeah, come, can, can Karak and I still not hear? Torch. Uh, you guys, I mean, it is like... It is kind of broadcasting to everyone in the room, basically. Oh, okay. okay. So, never mind. Yeah. I just kind of grin. We come from the town of Torch. What happened to these other people that were people that were like us? I don't know. I do not know what lies beyond here. What? Tell me about your home. Tell me. Um, is it is it possible? I know it just has a a mouth with tooth. Can I make an inside check? For what? Uh, to see if it lies, because if it says it doesn't know what happened to if them. If it's playing us, <laughs> yeah. This, this ball of sentient mud playing. 
It's like probably like the, the puppet players standing behind us the whole time and yeah, laughing exactly. at at themselves. Watching um, us through this double-sided mirror. <laughs> to a mirror. Uh, so yeah, let's see if I can have any insight of this piece of mud. Okay. <laughs> Teeth. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put by the way I'm gonna put this thing on the 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 map here. This isn't exactly what it looks like, but it's close enough. Whoa! It's hold teeny up. Why tiny. Is... Yeah, Why it's Twitch declaring me dead. It's teeny dead? tiny. It looks nice. What? It's cute. Let me. Zoom. Session goal: kill Quinn. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, insight. You um. I mean, this thing sounds curious. It it sounds like it wants information. It sounds like it's, like it it sounds like a like you're talking to a child, basically. Okay. Um, let me uh, let me speak with it. I understand these matters, or perhaps its nature more. Um, why are you so curious, my little friend? I want to know. I like to know. Well, we, we do as well. We would be happy to share information with you. We are actually looking for people. If you could maybe help us get through this place, we would be happy to share stories with you and tell you uh, who we are and where uh, we come from. How, how, how can I help? Can you feed me? I... No, we they gave somewhere. me... They gave me the red food. And I mm. ate the red food. But there is no more. Mm. Uh... I'm wondering... If the red food... <laughs> might have been... It's already in all of our hats, but please feel free to speak it. <laughs> it was red food in... is people. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even have to be green; it's red. <sighs> oh gosh, here we go. Um, is is that all you you can eat? Uh, do you only eat the <laughs> rat? <laughs> the rat food. What the happens? Rat, the rat food. The rat, food. the rat, yeah. the rat, rat food. food. Yeah. The rat food. This is an rat, extreme. Yo. This is an extreme mud baby. For how long have you been without food? Um, says, uh, I, time is strange. Time means very little. Are you hungry now? And I sort of tightened the grip around my 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 short sort of. If time means very yeah. little, then how much longer can you stand not eating the red food? Yes. I look at Robin and I just go, no, don't, <laughs> don't do this. Yes, I have not eaten for so long. Can you help me? Have you it's kind of like, it's kind of like crawled now up to the edge of this machine and is like almost leaning like itself off towards you guys. Yep, I, I take just... a step backwards. Oh, oh, oh. I actually, what I do is since um, since Quinn can produce the good berries, I actually take one of my food rations out, like a dry piece of dried meat. Um, and is is it an even? It's an even th surface. What the what it's standing on? It's like a like a, a edge of a tabletop kind of thing. Okay, then I I sort of lean forward a little bit and sort of throw it over to that thing, but I don't step any closer. So, so that like dried, just dried meat. Okay. Um. I'm not sure if this will do it for you, but um, that's all I have right now. Uh, it very slowly will kind of like slither down the edge of the table, and like use one of its sort of tentacle-like appendages, pick this thing up, and sort of like stick it into the maw that splits its weird bulbous form and you hear kind of a strange sort of squishy chewing sound uh and still the um the voice in your head kind of pauses for a second it says it uh what by the way what, what were your rations like what are they made of 
Uh, it just dried up meat, like some some pork or something like that. That's all I gave him. I didn't give give it my my. I don't even know what would you consider whole ration, but I just imagine I gave him like a piece of beef jerky, basically, or okay. pork jerky. Uh, it will consume it and will say, "It's, it, it fills, but it does not nourish. Why? Why is? Why is it not?" Alive? Um, generally, we prefer not to eat our meat uncooked. At least I can say so for myself. My little friend, what... Have you done anything aside from eating? No. Do you have some other purpose? I... I remain... Shit, don't give it a life crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Mid mud crisis. Was, uh, I was taken from where to where I do not know. Where I am and why, I have not figured out. But I have been here for so long. Well, I look at the others. I say there is um. Well, we could we could feed uh, the alien to it. That's what I was thinking. So we there is actually some fresh meat in the, where we came from, not too far from here, but it is green. So I don't I can't promise you that it will actually be to your liking. However, what is more interesting to me, um, if we took you with us. And we can't provide you anything that will nourish you. Would you at some point start to, let's say, feed on us? It says, I wish to eat. I, I, I must learn, but I must also eat. That is not an answer to my question. What do you know about these? Um, have you ever seen these four-armed ones like us? Perhaps they were the ones that brought in what you ate. Yes, I know of them. I will, I will tell you what I know. If will, will you help? Yes. Would you like to eat that? We have one. If you Eat it. We just killed him like a little while ago. Wait, how long is the short rest? <laughs> it's like five minutes. Oh, it's only like ten minutes old. I even cut it in half for you. I mean, if if like if you guys want to find a way to get it some blood, um, I don't know. You can try it. You can try it. We were just talking about bringing it back to the alien. That That's what I'm saying. If you, if you wanted to, if you wanted to get it, if you wanted to dr go to ha send someone to drag the alien's body back, you can do that. I got this, okay. guys. Um, I'll go back and drag it, the would alien. Would you? Do you think you'd be able to eat that? Uh, I have eaten them there. Uh, them before. They are okay. They are familiar. Okay. Oh well. Just wait out. here. We will get you what you need, and then you will give us what we need. Figboot. I'm gonna lean over to Figboot and be like, <laughs> I kind of, I kind of want to keep it forever. Yeah. To be honest, I kind of have the same thought here, but I also still don't fully trust it to so not gonna, bite I'm, off our fingers and ears in our sleep. I'm gonna bring back the the body. Are you going on your own? I can I kind of don't want to. I kind of don't want to alone for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> for some reason. You can't I mean, pinpoint can... the reasons that you don't want to leave this thing alone. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't necessarily. I mean, I can. I can take care of myself, and you guys can watch the thing. The adorable thing. Well, I don't like the idea of you going alone back there. I look over at the creature. Can I pick you up and take you to where the body whoa, is? Whoa, 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 let's not touch it. Okay, then we're kind of at a 
disadvantage I'm, here. I'm fine with her going alone. We've cleared everything so far. I can follow Karak back like halfway, like down the. I can like follow like to the end of the hallway or something. Yeah, that way. He, he, that he doesn't way want to go all the way. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> wow. Well, gotta gotta e gotta ease into it. it. <laughs> gotta ease into wow. it. Wow. All right. So, so right let's now, let's do that. Right, for right now, I'm just gonna go to the end of the hallway. If she gets in trouble, I'll yell to you guys. If you guys right. get in trouble, I'll yell to her. All right. All right, I'm gonna go get the body. Okay. Uh, so you you go <laughs> grab the uh, the the chopped up uh, alien. You drag it back. It is. Uh, do you want it to take the whole thing or just like a piece of it? Uh, I'm gonna give it half of the body. Actually, while she's she's going to get the body or pieces of the body, I I I ask it um, again if it if it has a name. Uh, the creature says, I don't know. I don't think so. You should make up a name. I like Reginald. I like... <laughs> yes, please. I, I yes, should have please. very slow side glance. I, I was thinking Percival, is, technically. Is, does the voice sound, sound female or male? It just sounds like a voice, like a light. It's a, it's uh, a telepathic, telepathic voice. voice. It doesn't really okay. sound like anything. Okay, so we have okay. Reginald and we have Percival. Any other suggestions? I also <laughs> like. I also like Commander Percival. <laughs> anything like with Percival in it? A little, a little distinguished. I think that we uh, should name it Reginald Val, Val Johnson, but we'll just call it Reginald for short. Does that thing show any reaction while this kind of conversation is going on? It is kind of twitch. Sure it is twitching a little bit. I, I, I give it food before we get too deep into this conversation. <laughs> All right, uh, you will you, you will see it kind of like as you throw the body down on the ground, it kind of slithers over the thing and begins uh, the mouth like it's it can, like. Um, you see, like, this long kind of appendage-like tongue begin, like, burrowing into the corpse. And you hear, like, a wet, like, <laughs> sound. Um, as it does, the, it doesn't stop talking to you the whole time, by the way. Uh, it continues to sort of talk psychically in your head. Um, as it does... Uh, chat, uh, chat suggests that we name it Brainly. Or brain oh, that's Brainly. Weird. Yeah, I was thinking of Tiny, but they, <laughs> somebody Reginald named... Percival Brainsley is the third. Third Esquire. <laughs> Esquire. Esquire. Let's, let's take out the Esquire and put Commander, and I'm happy with it. Commander, oh, we have Commander and Esquire. He can be our legal aid for the rest of the campaign. <laughs> this is our counselor, Commander Reginald Percival Brainsley the third Esquire. <laughs> and then three seconds later, it's going to mutate, going to be ten, ten uh, times its size, it's trying to, to kill us. Yeah, but I'm you fine go with just name calling it. it Commander for short. <laughs> I approve. Okay. <laughs> um, so, DM question, if I pet it, will I get in trouble? Well, you will <laughs> see. You will have I don't to know. find out. I have no yeah. idea. I'm gonna ask it. Can I? Can I pet you? Oh, you're so nice. I ask for consent always. I know. It's this good. Especially I... since telepathic. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yes, so, are you are you telepathically asking it? Yes. Are you what, are, like? Are you thinking like? Can I pet you? But is your? Are you just like? <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, not without the eyebrows. It's completely... <laughs> it's completely... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. hey. Um, I'm just thinking, like, I, with re I really want to pet it. No, I you, really you... want to pet it. Um, it no, you hear kind no, of a cool little chimey, chime, sound, like, voice in your head just say, I, I don't understand. Aww. It's so precious. I'm violating this poor little thing. Uh, so you have gi you have given Don't it food. Steal You've given it some food. Do you actually want to? Um, do you actually want to like ask it anything? Yes. How are you feeling after that? 
is your little tummy full. <laughs> <laughs> and little commander. Who's going to take a nap? How's our little commander doing? Little commander Percival. He's a good boy. <laughs> Just like this. Reginald Tendril. Tendril mud monster. <laughs> no. I just imagine like all four of you guys are like standing around it like a cat. Like. <laughs> Hold on, I just want to love it. <laughs> uh, I want to. I just want to get this. Hold on. I'm gonna. I need. I feel like I need to put this on screen because. Um. Uh, because. <sighs> this is. This is important. I think this is only so funny because I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> this is probably gonna open Photoshop. Yeah, it is. Oh well. Oh man. Um, hold on. It's just like this ugly Shut up. mud tendril monster, and we're all just like, oh, look, he's so cute. I'm uploading a picture of it right now. And then it's gonna do. Little, co little commander. <laughs> it's like, you stretch it, and there's a non existing yeah. shit. Uh, what, the, what is that? Hold on. It's like a partial. What the heck? Oh my it god, it's like? Like a, it's like a vagina and a <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's even oh. cuter. Oh. That's, that's what it looks like. Sorry, I'm taking back all my. So oh my wait, God, is cute. is the is the brown part a part of it, or is it just the purple? No, the purple part. So the brown is just like a backdrop. Yeah, that's just the rock. Okay. Well, this one is, this one is brown, but that's basically what this thing looks like. Oh, yeah. okay, all right. Uh, that for you guys at home, that's what you're looking at. And thank you, uh, <laughs> many sided dice for the 500 bits. <laughs> <laughs> oh man beers for wow. cheers everyone ed cheers so thank, you, thank you thank you thank you uh the little commander is your, know, is your will cuter. will barely full <laughs> yeah you never answered the question you never answered. you never answered it uh it it kind of like it's just very very confused and uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> Can't i didn't it. know we could do that <laughs> And by it, I, I don't mean it. <laughs> um. So, um, so since it, it doesn't, it's not answering to that, I would then say, um, uh, so what, what else can you tell us about what has been going on here? Either the, about the people that are like us or the others that are not like I, us. I, I do not know. They came and they were gone. I, I do, I, I don't know where. I have not left. And you said you were taken, right? Yes, by this one. Uh, or th and he kind of like, you see the the thing that it's sitting on top of. He says, "Um, they are called uh, Kasatha. They, um, says they dwell in a place far away." Uh, you got you were you broke off there for a second. You only got to they dwell in or at a place far away. Okay, all right. And you said uh, Kasatha. That is what they are called. Yes. All right. Does the um? I look at Fig Boot and I, and I say, does the name or does a word Osar or Osara say anything to you? I do not understand. Try saying it when you're hissing. I look at Fig Boot. I say, you want to try it? What? Try saying it in a hiss. You, you get the. You guys get the hisses. sense this thing. This thing probably doesn't understand any language. It probably understands thoughts. Okay. Oh. Never okay. Okay. Um. Wait, so this whole time when... Our, our, so we're talking at it, but... You're still thinking about what you're saying, right? Okay. And your brain has to create... So yeah, your your brain creates... Uh, like, the language is not, the inher is not inherent. Your yeah, your brain essentially translates thoughts into language, but it doesn't think that way. Okay. And this thing um, is it, probably it, communicating on that level. All right. I say, um, so... Could you tell us more of uh, 
what you've seen of these things. Uh, perhaps, do you know what is beyond this door? And I point to the one that we haven't opened yet. Uh, no, I do not. Could you see while you were in that thing? Yes, I saw you. I saw them for a short time. Did any of the people that looked like us go through this door? They were taken, yes. Were they still alive? I do not know. How tall were they? Who took them? I do not know. Do you know for what purpose you were brought here? You were fat, but did they ask you to do anything else for them? Um, it says, uh, hold on, um, it says, n no, I, um, I do not think they knew I was here when they brought me. Uh, you, you kind of, um, it says, I was small, incubated in dirt they collected. I grew inside their machine. At what stage of your life circle are you right now? I am very old. So you will not grow in size? Is this your final form? Is this your final form? <laughs> uh, I believe they knew I existed, but not what. They placed me here for study, perhaps. Um, mm. It never happened. I grew. But... It is about this world that I am most curious. Why? Because I hunger for knowledge. And for red meat? Yes. Are there, are there others like you? What do you do with your knowledge? Do you just happily store it in that little brain of yours? <laughs> <laughs> um uh says uh, the where I come from there are many all wise all curious uh and at this point I would look at the others and and sort of not towards the door and sort of um, sort of give, give a should we move on look and I actually say I don't think there's anything else we can get from it well perhaps we can bring it along in some sort of do you want companion. to touch it um what the so the composition of this thing just looks like conglomerated like does it look like it's made out of mud or does it look no like no it, it the, the thing it, the thing itself like, is actually like this purple fungus it was just covered in the mud because that's what it was sort of okay birthed in and what just not without not with touching it but just looking at it can i discern what sort of texture it might have if i touched it probably like a, it's a, like a slimy kind of m fungus type thing okay um i say um is it okay if I touch you? <laughs> and you I reach my hand You continue to grow out. it in your beard. <laughs> <laughs> that would be... I could put it in the fig boot. Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> Just have him just like, be like, Commander, and then it just comes out of my boot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, anyway. <laughs> yes, uh, I still haven't given up on the thought that it's going to try to eat us at some point. Uh, it's definitely oh, I'm sure it will. But well, for, after leeching our yeah, brains. All you just of our have to thoughts. keep it fed. Yeah. But it's it's alright, guys. I only I, gave it half the body. We still yeah. have time. I reach out and try to touch it. After asking. Reach out and touch me. I'm glad mm -hmm. I wasn't the only one that was thinking of that song. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I've been thinking it since you originally <laughs> tried to touch me. Askren looking very, very deeply at his DM notes. What happens if a player touches it? <laughs> <laughs> what happens if somebody was this fundamentally? <laughs> when, whenever, whenever you guys, whenever you guys start talking, I, I take that as an opportunity to look at my notes because why not? Yeah. Um, do you did you want to stay here? Did you want to ask more questions? Did you want to try no, and we're exit? The thing. I'm trying to touch it. We're, we're trying to touch it. <laughs> touch the monster. I, yeah. Is it you? I I'm not. I, I want am. to. I I want to as well. Uh, okay. Um, you uh you you as you kind of reach out to touch it, um, you see the 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 creature almost like reel backwards as its mouth is going to open. And it is going to let out a horrifying shriek. Mm. Okay. Well. Then. I guess that's a no. Is that all? Does it just scream? I mean, it is now like it is. It is twitching and kind of like uh, moving. You it, like you guys. You feel like it's probably not a good time to hold your hand there and wait for what happens next. You're welcome to, but I'm. I'm gonna let you know that that is that would. That's what it looks like. Yeah. At this point, Robin would just. I'm gonna assume the fact that you're not. I'm door. gonna assume the fact that you're not yeah, would, removing your hand. Yeah, I would pull hands. back my hand. I would pull back my hand. <laughs> Did that seem to be a reaction because it was in the middle of eating, or just you have no like idea? Actually, it is. It has not stopped shrieking though. Okay. Um, um, let's get out of here. Let's just leave it there. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. Never mind. Just forget that we even tried to do that. We were just trying to be friendly. And I just try to like continue like to emit friendly thoughts toward it. <laughs> friendly thoughts. Oh, friendly. You, are you guys like slowly backing out, or are you like trying to book it out of here? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, kind of next to it. I start filling with the door. What, what color code did the door have again? Uh, brown. Uh, brown. Oh, wait, sorry, you said it. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the card out. I'm activating All right. the card. All right, so you guys, uh, you guys kind of rush to the door quickly. Uh, as you hear kind of the wet sort of slopping sound, uh, I can rock and figure, are you guys going, rushing to the door? Are you staying where you are? I'm staying right next Cro to it. You're, you're muted, and Tiger. You're muted, Tiger. I'm backing up towards the door slowly. The door that you came from? No, the door that everybody's trying to rush to. Okay. That I'm not rushing to. Okay. Uh, you guys you guys who quickly get to the door will open it here uh, as this thing sort of slides down off of its perch and begins uh, like moving across the floor towards Fig Boot. So if you guys want to get somewhere, <laughs> you should get there. All right, we're uh, we're booking it. Yeah, if... come on, Fig Boot. So we'll it's, it's currently for just for, like just yes. leave it my there. Path. Yes, okay. it, yeah. It's blocking my path. Yeah. I'm okay. writing my hand um, crossbow. Yeah, can you screw it around it? It's it's a okay. it's small I'm, creature. It's on the floor. You I can am, easily get over it. I am Don't going. Don't go over it. Go around it. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Last thing I'm gonna try to do as. Says the last resort is I'm gonna try to cast animal friendship on it. <laughs> Let's see if that even works. This is as far okay. Away bear from in mind an animal as it could be. Bear in mind you can try that. It is going to get to you as soon as that as soon as that's fit. Like as you're doing that. This is how we lose Figboop. I think, Fig Boop, I think guys. yeah. I think Figboop would still do it. Okay, no. go for it. So, Regina. Uh, what do you need from what is what do you need from it? I let me uh, it. let me put on some music then. Let me put on some music. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> How would you like to seduce it? What's the magic? No, word? no, not, the, not Wait, that kind of thing. What do you need oh, from me to rip you out? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, it's it time to become to friends a... with this animal. All right. If it has a... Yeah, I probably shouldn't have even, shouldn't have even done this. It was probably like a gut reaction on Figbit's part. But if it has an, if it has an intelligence of four, I immediately four, regret this decision. Yeah, <laughs> if it has an intelligence of four or higher, which I have a feeling it does, then it, mm -hmm. then he just doesn't care. And then otherwise, it has to succeed on a wisdom saving throw against thirteen. Yeah, it has a it has a probably a higher intelligence than you do. Obviously. Okay. So Figboot, Figboot, there just seeing who he thought would be his big companion he just gives out this animal friendship spell just as a last resort and is he opening his arms like this like for a um, hug he's like he he has he has one hand on his quarter staff and he has the other hand out and he's casting the spell out very like 
Gently. Um, gently casting like, the spell. I don't know the word. <laughs> Delicately. Like, like, Gingerly. Please don't do this type Gingerly. of thing. <laughs> yeah, Reginald, Reginald, it's just Reginald. Like, he's he's you, doing the... <laughs> you were the chosen one. <laughs> okay. I have the high ground. <laughs> and there was the last we saw of his arm. <laughs> so yeah, he's holding one hand out right now. Alright, cool. Uh, so I have to check something real quick. Um... <laughs> What was that quote? It's like, you were supposed to something, the force, not destroy it? Or you were supposed to... Oh my god, I just love the chat. When a yeah, yeah. loves a brain giant. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, the uh, the shriek that it let... It's going to continue to let out its shriek. Um, first of all... Uh, uh, do most creatures do that around you, Fig Boot? <laughs> Big boot just in slow motion. Uh, and so as it as uh, as it already began the shriek, this is going to be a full. This is going to constitute its full round a uh, full round action. Um, you, I need everyone in the room to make me a wisdom saving throw. Thanks a lot, Big no Boots. Ones. I would like to point out that I wanted to touch it, but I didn't touch it. This is. I would all like to use my magic. Holy shit! I would Holy shit! Um, I, I would determined. like to use mine if I'm allowed to do so after Can my roll. You are, yes. I'm gonna do the same thing. You know what? Uh, I I am boot. also gonna use my natural twenty for this. Okay. That. <laughs> Big boot is just like this. His ears are bleeding. He's just. <laughs> <laughs> You All right. Love me. I just <laughs> love so, be my friend. So all of you managed to kind of resist the psychic uh, sh terror shriek that this thing is uh, is sending out. Um, however, it is going to uh, latch on to Fig Boot, and it is going to make a make a touch attack against you. So this is going to be. <laughs> Oh god. One D twenty. Net twenty Here we go. Uh, as it latches out on you. So that is definitely going to do uh do it for you. You need to make me a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Bing. Okay. Um you are going to be uh like, as this thing touches you for a brief second, you are going to feel your mind almost as if someone, like, someone just took a taser to you. There's a jolt, uh, like, through you uh, as your mind is for briefly clouded by madness. So you are going to feel one round of being stunned. Okay. Uh, you are not, you are luckily not going to be stunned for more than that because you did succeed on the save but for a brief second you are going to be out of commission uh, as you you're just jarred there um, you guys of course are hearing all of this uh, you have opened the door you guys see there's a hallway that continues down and you can hear fig boot being uh, being dealt with here uh, what do you want to do uh, and thank you to uh, Beer with Dragons for following. Welcome to the madness, name. my friend. That's a great name. Good All right. Uh, so I guess so you, you said it latched, it latched onto him. It has grabbed his leg. Oh shit! Leg hamper. Uh, I will. We're not technically going to go in initiative order. I'm just going to give you, let you all go at the same time. And then I it'll be, then it'll be them. Thing off his leg. Okay, go for it. I would like to cut off his leg. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's probably which leg. I know go, which. I know go, which go, has the fig, But tell me, tell me which leg it is, Askren. Uh, left leg. Damn it! <laughs> that's my fig leg. leg. That's the oh fig no, leg. the fig leg. <laughs> fig leg. <laughs> okay, so going in with the rapier first. Sixteen. Sixteen will hit it. So five, uh, okay. and then um, I will also get the sneak attack damage, right? Because the because it's it's yes. on fig boot. Yes. Um, hold on, I've got that in my shit. There we go. Oh no, sorry, I have it. Uh, 
It's been a whole week, I already forgot where it was. It's right here. <clears throat> Sneak attack damage. So an extra seven, and then I'm going um, with a bonus attack with the with the scimitar. Okay. Eight. Nope. Uh, all right. So you will hit. You kind of start slicing into this thing's sort of a uh, brainy, kind of gelatinous flesh as it kind of continues its shriek. Uh, Quinn and Karak, what do you guys want to do? I'm gonna back up because I can't lift a finger against my precious child. Okay. Quinn. Um, I'm gonna move over this away, and I'm gonna stab at the um, at the creature. All right. Just let it take fig. Yeah, I get it critical. Nat twenty. Oh shit! Nat twenty. There we go. That's how we do it here. Uh, sorry, I'm just I'm looking for a room here, and I can't find the one I'm looking for. That's three. That's I can't six, watch this. Seven. Which one's this eight? Is 18, so 28, 30 in total. Okay, there we go. Um, so how much damage? 30 uh, in total, eight. like mine and his together. I did 18. Yeah, All sure. right. Yeah, yeah, so in total it's 30. So. How do you want to do this? Oh! I just Make shish kebab I, out of it. Yeah, I, I, yeah exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> I, lan I lance it with... With uh, with my officer sword and yeah, shish kebab the uh, the brain gina. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you you lance down and you kind of feel that kind of squelching sound and oh, judo killer wanted to inspire it too. Uh, <laughs> as you lift this thing up on your sword, and I'm gonna say it just like slides <laughs> down the blade of your sword. <laughs> <laughs> Through all of this ears bleeding and all fig boot goes down to his knees and he starts shedding tears i would i would go i would sort of like not over to quinn or not uh, look at quinn not into uh fig boot's direction and then sort of uh sheath my my blades and sort of grab fig boot under one arm and sort of ask quinn to do the same let's get it uh... on here I slide i slide the uh the creature off of i slide reginald uh come here Commander Reginald Percival Percival the Third Esquire. Er, no, Brainsley, the Brainsley, Brainsley, the, Brainsley the, the Third Esquire. The third Esquire. I slide him delicately <laughs> off of my uh, blade, and then I look at um, <laughs> at Big Boot. Uh, as you <laughs> next time, don't touch I, the wild. Okay. Uh, as you guys are uh, as you guys are talking, can I have everyone in the room roll me a perception check, please? Yep. I will remember you. Yep. Nope. You remember me. Do we get advantage? Uh, no. I tried. I got 15. 15 and 24, uh, which means Fig Boot and Quinn, you guys are, um, like the rest of you, your ears are still bleeding. You're still kind of get it, shaking that shriek out of your head. Um, but as you guys are, as you guys are arguing over the dead, uh, brain Gina, you both hear the sound, you hear the sound of many, many feet on metal flooring, as well as a lot of kind of echoing high-pitched voices oh fuck it sounds like something has been alerted here and something is coming you guys hear them you can actually hear them kind of tromping down the halls you're not sure where you can almost hear just echoing through the walls shore up the doors and that's where we leave off no, no not <laughs> Uh, do you, do you actually want to try to, you want to go, yeah, guys, trying to, trying to, bar I want to start trying to barricade these doors. Do you want to yeah. barricade it? Do you want to close yeah. it? No, I, I want to close it. If they're open, the first thing I want to do is close them. Okay. So you and, you and Karak kind of rush over to the doors and you, uh, <laughs> you, you kind of put the card in to relock it. And just as you do, uh, you are going to see, let me, um, let me copy these here. Paste. Uh, you are going to see what looks like a group, like a stampede of small humanoid things about, let me, let me move them here. 
Uh, they are coming up the halls at you. They are pouring out like a tide into the hallways. They are small humanoids with kind of green skin and thrashing dreadlocks holding spears tipped with metal and stone and just... As they come down from the walls and out and the doors rushing towards you just as you guys shove attempt to shove the doors closed... And as they pour towards you, that is where we're going to end it for tonight. Ah, uh, the halflings. Guys, are those halflings? Those are halflings. They're like plant halflings. I was going to I was going to say uh they they ate something or smoked something that they they're, they're um, <laughs> beyond good and evil. Big Boot is just sitting there on the ground and holding the squashed remains of Commander well, I Commander, just wanted to Commander be your Reginald friend. Commander Reginald Percival. Uh, um, Brainsley. 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 Yeah. The we, third Esquire. Esquire. We, we pour one out for our homies in remembrance. Hashtag never forget. <laughs> uh, but that, I think, Hashtag is... Hashtag never bother to give it a name. <laughs> give it a huge name. <laughs> That is, of course, where we're going to end it for tonight, guys. A big thank you to all of you guys who came out. Um, that is the uh, the end of tonight's episode of Iron Gods. A uh, huge thank you to my players, and of course, a huge thank you to all of the followers and the donations, and Judo Killer with the sub. Uh, but we're going to, before we uh, we wrap things up, we want to know what you guys thought. Let us know in chat what you thought about today's episode. We want to hear your opinions. And also, I want to hear the opinions of my cast. So we're going to go around real quick to our cast and crew, uh, get some thoughts on today, and of course, as always, hooks and plugs, that kind of thing. Uh, no one ever told me that cameras were off, so their cameras are fixed now. Um, we will start with you, uh, Petra. What did you... Uh, What'd you think of today? That was something. No, I, I, I have, <laughs> I'll have a shitload of fun because I, I just like the exploration aspect of, it. and I feel a little bit like a, like we're like we were thrown to an escape room, uh, and now we're <laughs> very much <laughs> deep into the shit. Like, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I can't wait for next week to find out what these creatures want from us. I suppose they just want to be. Friendly and say hello, the, right? The the vegetables have risen up. Yep. <laughs> I will hug each and every one of you. <laughs> uh, well, uh, glad you enjoyed it. Do you want to tell everyone a little bit about who you are, what you get up onto the in to on the internet, and uh, yeah, where yeah, where people yeah. can find you? Yeah, so you can find me on Twitter. Um, you can see my Twitter handle right underneath my visage. Uh, and then, um, this Monday, uh, I had the first session of a brand new campaign over on the channel Encounter Roleplay. Uh, and there we're playing uh, a campaign of Mutant Year Zero. So it's in a post-apocalyptic world, it's, it's really crazy. All of our characters are crazy and mutated and instable, and I have no idea how, for how long we're going to survive. But yeah, that, that is going to happen for the next seven Mondays uh, at 4 p.m. Eastern. So come and check that out. Awesome. And then obviously I will be back next week. Next, uh, no, she won't. Next week on... That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play uh... Robin again. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, absolutely, and uh, make sure you go check her out on Twitter at p volkhausen if you can spell it. Uh, it <laughs> if not, too bad. Oh <laughs> <laughs> um, oh god, uh, many sided dice says I'll have to tune in again. Yeah, absolutely, man. And thank yeah, you, thank you, of that. course, for the yeah. bits. Uh, we do this every Wednesday, usually not as late because I don't forget this my own starting time. Uh, but <laughs> the. Uh, yeah, we're we're here every Wednesday with this awesome crew, and of course more shows. Uh, Judo Killer, to uh, first full session, absolutely, man. Thank you for uh, thank you for stopping by. Glad to have you as always, and thank you for the sub. Uh, next up is Scott. What do you think, man? What's what's hey. going on? Had a blast as always, despite the fact that you tried to kill me at every single turn. I mean, that's what I do. I lived, and that's what makes this game so much fun. Uh, I'm at Elanon RPG on Twitter, uh, so it says underneath my visage, and uh, you can follow me there. I talk a lot about D&D, &D, 
lately i've been talking about fish too much so if you want to come hear me talk about fish you can do that uh you can also check out my podcast called uh uh t tanked talking tanks where i get drunk and then talk about fish tanks because that's <laughs> what <laughs> why, why not uh... that's it that's all i got oh i do D, &D here every wednesday so come on back <laughs> <laughs> that also is a lie um Oh man, uh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Fire Ringer, for the links. I still have not had a chance to make uh, those commands. I will get to it at some point. Uh, who's up next? Zach. Zach. I just, I wanted to ask this all day. By the way, did you did you get an afro cut? No. No. It looks smaller. <laughs> is it is it just is it shrinkage? Is that how it works? No, no it's, just, it's a weather. It just depends. It just depends, I guess. It's also my lighting might be slightly. Sorry, different. it's it's cold in here. It's not usually like this. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's just like I snap my fingers and it's just like. <laughs> no, no. It's is that how you wait? Can you do that to fit through doors? <laughs> uh, I. It just depends on on the day, I guess. <laughs> It's 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 like having a pet on your head. Like it's a lot. You, you have to brush it. You have to make sure it's doing okay. Is it like stuff. a brain Jenna? Yeah, it's like that's why I wanted one for Fig Boot so much. You know? <laughs> I just wanted to like run around with it on my head, but you know how that worked out. Meat hat. Who doesn't want to run around with a brain Jenna on their head? <laughs> Can I quote you on that? <laughs> Somebody's good. Uh, yeah, someone will. At, at this at this point, we have to start our own T-shirt line. We already have so many. I know. Quotes. I want those big <laughs> T-shirts that you joked about at the beginning of the <laughs> so bad. I want yeah. yeah, fig boot T-shirts are are. I'm fig actually. I will get. I will get a store up at some point because I have shirt designs. I just haven't had time to finish them, so that'll get done whenever that I'm not totally lazy. Happen. I want get a fig boot T-shirt. <laughs> Bad. I thought the session was was really cool. I also got that like the room type feeling when, especially when we were in the like the second room. Hmm. It was just it was really cool. Um, and yeah, I I enjoyed meeting our brain Gina, and I'm sad that he died. I just wanted to be friends with him, and <laughs> you can see me on the internet. You, you know my tags down there so if you want to look at stuff that i do then you can click that and then look at stuff that i do i also have a website that is www.zackplay.com and that's zach z-a-c not z-a-c-h or z-a-c-k or z-a-k or any other way you decide to spell it okay that's all i have to say <laughs> brain giant is dead <laughs> Uh, as we as we mourn the loss, uh, last but of course not least, Tiger, what did you what, what did you think about today? Today was a lot of fun. It was nice to uh, to come back after not being here last week and just jump right on back into these crazy wacky shenanigans as per usual. Awesome. I um I, I enjoyed bringing the puns back in. It's it's not the same without them, really. Yeah, it's, we, we missed right. the puns. Mm -hmm. We missed you, and we missed the puns. So you can find me. Link is down there. Tiger Rises. My Twitch is also Tiger Rises, and you will see me next week. I'm actually selling a concert ticket because I have a concert on that night that I'm not going to. It's front row for Bastille in Atlanta. Front row at the Fox. If you want the ticket, give me a holler. I'll sell it. <laughs> Don't. It's got to go to somebody. <laughs> um. Oh well. Yeah. Uh. Do you have? Did you put your Twitter in chat? Did or did someone? Did someone link that? Uh. Yeah. yeah it's it's already there. there. Awesome. Awesome. Um. And of course, guys. My name is Asker, and I am your host and your dungeon master here. I'm both at the same time. Uh. <laughs> and. <laughs> You can find me, uh, social media is just at Askren on Twitter. Uh, you can also, if you haven't already, please hit that follow button. You join us here for three nights a week of live role-playing, uh, Iron Gods, Rising Moon, and our new show that is coming on Sundays. Of course, you uh, we also have a talk show called Fuzzy Dice uh, every Tuesday. Uh, that is with guests and all kinds of nerd celebs and stuff like that. Thank you, Dwarf Punter, for following. Welcome to the madness, my friend. Name. It really, really is. Um, <laughs> thank you for joining us. Uh, also, you we have, if you guys have not heard, uh, exclamation point giveaway, our 
uh, new m giveaway for May has started. That is the uh, the Dwarven Forge giveaway. So I've got a full set of Dwarven Forge for you. I've got some Reaper Bones that are being added to, to it. Um, and uh, you guys should definitely get in on that. Also, I didn't show it to you before, but I just got these in. We will be giving away quite a few of these after I keep one for myself. These are the uh, Tomb of Horrors cloth maps that Wizards just sent me, and they are amazing. Uh, I've got a ton of giveaways stuff going out in the next couple weeks uh we our, our last month's giveaway um uh, the the yawning portal stuff all that's going out and more coming all the time so keep your eyes peeled yeah 21 entries judo killer you are bound to win um i think that's all the announcements i really have def uh this is a this actually ends our streaming week we go offline for thursday and friday but we will of course be back for Saturday with the Writhing Moon. Saturday. That episode is it that is an open legend horror game, and we're gonna have a special guest on that episode, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um I'm trying to think. I don't have anything else, so as always, we are going to go on a raid, and I know exactly who are gonna do it because my one of my good friends, Laura Lania, is over playing on D D on the Misclicks channel. And so that Ooh. is where we are going to pass the love on to. So what's going to happen is I am going to put it in chat, exclamation point raid, miss clicks. Uh, and you guys are all going to pop over there and you are going to say, exploding dice raid. Let them know where you're coming from. Show them some love uh, and, you know, get it, get it going on. Um, so g definitely uh, hit up that. Let them know. And uh, we will see you next time, guys. Thank you for joining us. We will see you on Saturday. Big thanks to all the donators. Big thanks to everyone. As always, don't let, let, let Dicelu get his tentacles on you because he might... He might kill your favorite... Brain -gina. He may -gina kill your favorite anyway. Brain Gina in the worst way. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care, everyone. Bye, guys.